Oh mine would be like one of those. Uh, mine would be an annoying sound, like the cuckoo clocks. The, what the, about a rooster? Where the bird flies <laughs> out. Imagine it was a rooster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, be something I, mad annoying. I want it to be a, a granddaddy clock, like the ding. Oh my god, grandfather <laughs> clock. Yeah, <laughs> grand- <laughs> hey, what, what what granddaddy clock. Granddaddy clock. What you went to over there? <laughs> and if you ain't fucking with this podcast, then you're just a bitch ass trick. Welcome back to another episode of Savor for the Pod, episode number 108. Whole squad in this bitch. Sure. Phil smacking his lips, eating some french fries. AJ got Bro, some food. Stop, man. <laughs> AJ got some food on the way as well as Lukey. Bro, actually, time out already. Go ahead. I was listening to the pod and, and Phil was doing the, the, the sound or whatever, right? No, no, just like he was... He was doing what I was Oh, yeah, yeah, the one in charge of the sound. Oh, yeah, yeah. And y'all, sound y'all didn't even get that loud. And he's yeah. like, okay, guys, you see? So now you know what I'm talking about, Phil. What are you talking about? You, you told them to quiet down, and they hadn't even really gotten that loud. But you I'm saying you see well, how the, it feels with the, the with everyone the story, directly in your ear. Stop telling us what to do. No, they're valuing Bro, like loud. this nigga not, not even... Not, yeah. <laughs> nigga they're can't mope like loud. <laughs> Bro, so actually, actually, no, no, no. Let's say this. Now it'll be perfect sense. He moved the, he moved the, the mic away. <laughs> it'll be like... Luke, remember what you were trying to tell Zach? It'll make perfect sense to tell him now. Uh, that's fine. Boy. So AJ was like, oh, you bar, you take the mic. Or you take the mic stand. Because he cause still forgot his thing. Yeah, and he, yeah, was like, yeah. he was like, it'd be better for me anyway to like use, use the headphones and the mic without the stand. Mm-hmm. And Phil goes, no, nah, I'm good. I'm good. Um, I want, I want my I, hands to be free. And I, no, I, I re-up. I was like, no, bro. Like, take, take the thing. Like, take this. They were please. going back and forth. A be, for it, just, I just went once, yeah. and then he said, no, no, no. I, I want, I want my hands to be free. So, and I was like, all right, but bro, no, you bro. got it. I said, all right, bro, you got it. It took like three and then minutes. I, not even take three minutes. I told, I went to Luke after. I'm like, bro, he said he wanted his hands free, <laughs> and that's why he doesn't want to use the mic stand. Bro, Phil is the funny. If y'all don't have a Phil in your life. I really feel bad for y'all. That means you need to get you one. Yeah, but they yeah. got the pod, so they all got to fill in their life. That's right. Facts. That's a, I like that. But this uh, today's already started off fantastic, so I'll save it for best thing I've I seen this week, but shout out Adam. I'll say it now before mm. I forget for later. And then also, we need to talk about this nigga Luke. So we just got on Phil, yeah, talk but about we him. also need to get on Luke. Pause. For what? <laughs> about the whole Cinnabon Auntie Anne's thing. Uh, oh, before we get into that real quick, we need to apologize to Janice W. Why? What happened? What? Because we didn't have video last week. Oh, month. of our feats? Yeah. She, she asked for... Yeah, she said, I really love when you guys show your socks and feet. Please wiggle your toes more throughout the episodes. And we didn't have video last <laughs> we episode. We didn't have video I thought last you were month. saying that she commented on something else saying, like, where was the video? Oh, where were the feet? Like, look, yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, 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 but I just thought we should apologize. Yeah. Uh, to Janice W. We got so the sorry, feats. Janice W. Yes, but um, as I said, AJ and Luke ordered food. So one thing that popped up was Cinnabon, and so me and Phil being huge, and I think AJ too, being huge Cinnabon fans, That's cinnamon not, roll fans, cinnamon roll fans. Yes, Phil was literally thinking about a different restaurant. <laughs> he was gonna get there. Oh, hold on, yeah, let me let me get there. So see, see Luke is with the interrupting. <laughs> yeah. So uh, right away, Luke is like, "Oh, Auntie Anne's is better," and you called it Auntie Annie, so that's how I know you don't really feel that way. But you say Auntie Anne's was better than cinnamon than Cinnabon, which is one hundred percent incorrect. I'll give it to you that you did correct yourself, and you said that their overall menu selection is better than Cinnabon. But no one is get, going to Cinnabon getting anything besides a cinnamon roll. I don't even know if they sell stuff besides cinnamon rolls. They do. Cinnamon rolls and water. That's probably it. No, they sell other things. What, do they, what else do they uh, sell? They have a churro roll. Like, it's just a churro wrapped, but it yeah. doesn't have any, like, uh Wait, did, did you just put a it? dirty plate back in my thing? No. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, my fault, my fault. <laughs> uh, they have the a churro roll without any glaze and then they have like little bite-sized cinnamon hey, i'm uh, sure the churro like roll cinnamon bites. is better than the <laughs> the pretzel cinnamon pretzel so cinnamon. they're not it's the not a cinnamon roll but it's just cinnamon roll no, related things but the cinnamon <laughs> he's trying to act like no the cinnamon pretzel from auntie Anne's is better than the cinnamon bites from cinnamon 
I don't know. I, I can't yeah, I speak know. on it, but I feel like you might be wrong. The cinnamon pretz. You can't speak on it. <laughs> but I might be wrong. I, f- I think I've had both, and I think they're honestly they're just they're the same, just different. And cinnabon can't do wrong in my eyes. Anyways, right, we'll but you're this. right. Phil was thinking about an entirely different place because Phil is vegan. So he can't so even eat cinnabon. Use. Yeah, but cinnaholics is really really good, and it's probably better than antiens. Yeah, see, look, you're not talking into the mic. That's why I said it would be better if I hold it. Oh, I got you. <laughs> I haven't. I don't know where Cineholic. In Boca. Bo- there's one in Boca. There's one in Coral Springs. Um, I think there's only two locations now. Oh, I don't yeah, know. I, don't I just think knew I go about that, the Boca. That high north. But north. everyone I hear says Cineholics is amazing, it's and everything is vegan, right? So good, yes. And you can customize every everything. Yeah. And they have a uh, cookie dough too. Yeah. Look, Roy is fire. Look, he's not. He's not resigned already. Yeah, I saw that. All right, but how y'all boys, uh, how's y'all week been? It's been good. Sure. Had a, I mean, this week, yeah, it's been all right. You were but in the New week York? week before, I was in New York. Yes. How was New York? So, New York was lit. I went, uh, I saw Adam. I saw Rach. I saw Hibby. Um, Amari. Chris and, and Derek actually ended up being up there. Yeah, I saw that. And then yeah, and then we met up. We saw Stefan for a little bit. You, I don't think you guys know. We met I don't him know once. Stephon. Um, I saw Shar up there too. Yeah, so I saw a bunch of people. It was cool. That's dope. That's Does dope. Does Amari live there? Yeah, he lives there now. I don't know. He uh, he works for CBS, right? Yeah, NFL. Yeah, CBS. Shout out CBS. You, whatever you see them oh. posting, that's him, bro. Mm-hmm. Oh, Amari. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I thought you meant Amari Bailey. You know what I'm talking about? No. The one who hooped at uh, Pembroke Pines Church. Oh, you mean Bryant. Oh, Bryant. Yeah, yeah. Bailey. Bryant. Yeah, yeah. That's what I thought you were talking about. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, okay. And um, then you went to the Heat Knicks game, right? Yeah, I went to the Heat Knicks game, so I was in MSG for the first time. It was lit. It, uh, their arena is just cool in general. I think mm-hmm. like if it's definitely worth like, going. Because, I mean, one is just cool because... You been? You been, Luke? Nah. Oh. One is yeah. just cool because... It's a huge arena in the middle of, like, Manhattan. Yeah. And then um, the inside is actually, like, surprisingly nice, and they've mm-hmm. kept it, like, up to date. And, like, the chair seating, all that is is pretty good, too. And I, t- I kind of – did you go for a Nick game, Luke, or no? Yeah. Oh, you did? Yeah. I just like the, the ambiance of it, too. Did, like, they – in most arenas, they use, like, fluorescent or brighter lights, but these were, like, warmer. Yeah. And it kind of makes you feel like you're – you're home. You're what? At home. I would say at home, it, but possibly. Um, but kind of like how you would, it, it puts you, it feels like you're almost like at a vintage, like Knicks game. Yeah. In a way. Yeah. Well, I could see that. Yeah. Did you use the subway to get there? No. Because no. there's just like a subway like right under. Yeah. I didn't use the subway to get there, but it's, it's, there's a stop right there. I went, I used it to get back, but this is my first, I think, yeah, it was my first night there. Um, but I went the wrong way because I wasn't paying attention on the side because the A yeah. goes like it goes two ways and I just I just got on going the wrong way. I um, mean I I don't really remember it too much like the being in Madison Square Garden, but when you say the lights, uh, that makes like are warmer. That makes a little bit more sense because the I've been to like I mean obviously Heat games, but Nets a Nets game yeah. at their new arena and it was like super white light. I remember it was like super fluorescent. Yeah, super. Lights. Yeah, super. I mean, that's a, a super new arena too. Yeah. So they're probably and they it's like high tech. When you have high tech stuff, you want it to be bright and popping yeah. and, and that kind of thing. But I guess the appeal of MSG is like being there's like some the mecca nostalgia. The first, the nostalgia of it, yeah. yeah, and the way it's lit also just naturally brings your attention to the court. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. not that everywhere else is is like super bright and you can see and and you I mean super dim and you can't see. It's just like it just gradually gets brighter and all the lights are pointed towards the yeah. center of the arena. Um like down at the court. So I feel like that's how damn me being a, a fake ass Lakers fan, but Staples Center where the Lakers play. What's it yeah. called now? Uh, crypto Crypto, crypto uh, So crypto I mean center. probably yeah. I feel it like prob- that's how I haven't it is. been there actually. Yeah. I had a chance to, and I just and it just didn't work out. Um, Cause the Heat's arena, that's like lit everywhere, right? It's yeah, not, it's pretty. You know, yeah, they they do a good job of focusing like the attention and lighting on the court, but yeah. it's still pretty well lit everywhere else. Got like you. you. If you, it'd be like looking 
it's almost like a th- how you feel in a theater, mm-hmm. you know, like where you can see the front, the rows in front of you and stuff, yeah. and you can see around you, but it's dimmer and the most well lit area is like what uh, yeah. what's going on in the yep. center stage. Yeah, but they uh, they also don't do a lot of like um, in game like obviously they do marketing shows and stuff like that but most of that's focused on like mm-hmm. on the court and not like so at the heat they go into the stands they have like bernie travel yeah. around there wasn't much of that at gotcha. least during that game i mean even in playoff games they, they do that here at the heat so um, yeah the knicks don't that even, was a different they yeah. don't have a mascot do they i mean i, I guess that's kind of what they you're probably saying. do but I don't, I don't even spike lee that's their mascot yeah i don't remember <laughs> seeing it there was a lot of um celebrities there too but that's you're gonna get that especially the playoffs, in the playoffs yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then I went to the comedy cellar also. Oh really? Yeah. It was, Who was there? Uh, you know Greer Barnes? Nah. Greer, you know Greer Barnes? Mm. You Who? guys will if you guys see him you'll know him. But he's one of my favorites. He's been my favorite, like one of my favorites since I was, since like, Comedy Central days. He um he's been on Michael Chase something. He's been on SNL. Um. Yeah, he's re- he was really funny. He was just up there working on stuff, too. I've seen him before. I don't know if I've ever seen any of his work before, though. But yeah. I, I've definitely seen his face. Um, He does good, like, impersonations, voices and stuff. Does He has this joke about, like, Kenyans running and different. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, so he was just up there working on things, and yeah. he, he killed it. Like, he just, you can tell he didn't go up. He just went up there being funny. Yeah. And, bro, it was, and I was, like, some of the best stuff I've seen. I don't know. Seeing comedy in person, I said I said that with Joe Coy when I went and saw him. It's just different in person. It's yeah, way yeah. better than watch. Like specials are really good, but in person it's it's a different element. It's way better. Agreed. And comedy style is super intimate. So, and I was sitting in the front. So we're like, so you are Zach from like yeah. that's how close and how packed they get. He night. was the only person. No, it's him. There's a bunch of people, but okay. he's the only one. Like I knew, I knew by name and knew for sure. Gotcha. The others, there was guys that have specials on on netflix and on hbo and they everyone was really funny mm-hmm. everyone was really different also so you got a bunch of different styles um this one guy who was last so i guess like the headliner of it i think he he, he has one on hbo i'll find his name or i'll find what his special is because i haven't even seen it yeah but he he got hit by a bus like that was the joke but he actually got hit by a bus. yeah but the entire set it was just him. Actually, he's, he war- he started off with one thing, and then he went into that. Maybe did three minutes on other stuff, and just like kind of, it was it was like kind of introducing himself in a way, because like yeah. he's like, oh, yeah, I know people don't know me. They're like, who is this guy? Like it was for whatever, like however he was doing is really funny. Um, and then for twelve minutes, talked about him getting hit by a bus. A joke that killed that joke but in the best way. Like yeah. we were laughing to the very end about the same thing he said 12 minutes ago. So that was a uh, that was pretty cool too. Got gotcha, you guys. Gotcha. Definitely. Uh Omari went. I so yeah, Omari went with me that day. The day before I was trying to just get like a a last minute walk-in spot. Mm-hmm. Um they didn't have any, then I was just walking around. And, oh my gosh, I saw a crazy fight too. So <laughs> like a street so, fight? Yeah, yeah, so that I'll get to that in a second. But um there's this other place called the Grizzly Pair that's a bar and they have like comedy shows in the back sometimes. So it was like 20 bucks. I was already out there and I had went out there trying to get into the cellar. I was like, I might as well. And it was just like, I guess like lower tier newer comics, but they were still, they were still pretty good. Um, but yeah, so like when I was trying to buy a ticket, I was, I was sitting in the bar uh, watching, that was the Night of Sun's Nuggets. I think when they got beat. Like, really bad? Yeah. I think that was the night. Because uh, that was last week, yeah. Um, so I was watching that, and then I left to, uh, at the end of it, or towards the end of it, I walked out to the lady in the front who was selling the tickets, because they were just, like, the comedians themselves were selling them. So I go to buy one from her, and there was, some, there was like, already a street fight happening when I got <laughs> out there, right? So I'm sitting there, and I'm like, I'm like, oh, I'm trying to see what's going on, but I already started buying this ticket. So I bought the ticket from her. I have to Venmo her because she doesn't have anything. Yeah. So you know all the the time that it takes to say, hey, yeah, I want to buy a ticket. Cool. Um, oh, I don't have a card. How should I pay you? She's like, oh, yeah, cash or Venmo. Okay, here, here's my Venmo. Look at my Venmo. All right. 
Here, yeah, that's mine. Send it to me. Okay, let me confirm. Let me wait for the notification. They got the notification. So mm-hmm. that that took a good like five minutes. The fight is still happening. <laughs> I go over there and I'm watching, <laughs> and and um, for a good like two to. It felt like two to three minutes, and I'm like, yo, they're still fighting. So I take my phone out. I have a two-minute video yeah. of, of, like, the rest of it. And, and, like, the I got, like, the worst parts of it. But they were, like, legitimately boxing almost. That is Like, impressive it was almost a sanctioned fight. Yeah. Like, the, no, police never showed up. I mean, they held up traffic. Like, so <laughs> I can see, I, I see someone get dropped. I'm like, damn, okay, fight's over. I, I didn't really see what happened. They stand them back up because the dude was like, no, nah, right. They stand him back up and then they let him go at it again. <laughs> <laughs> there was a dude out there like basically trying to yeah. referee it. And, and people are honking and stuff because it's like, I mean, not a lot of cars. So it'd be like the area is really popular. So it'd be like if you were in like South Beach or something mm-hmm. and there's tight streets, you know people are going to be walking through. So there's, there's exactly. not a lot of people going there. But there were still cars that had to make it through. And they're like honking and stuff like traffic is backed up to like another street yeah and every time like you you try to bull guard as a car and people were in the way like no 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 <laughs> yeah. stop, stop. we're gonna let this happen business owners like what the hell's going on like there's honking the entire time they're calling the police to try yeah, to get someone yeah. down there. so like for all that to happen this this fight was probably like it felt like a 10 minute fight maybe like, like maybe even more yeah because i don't know when it started and till the very end the like Dudes are getting up, getting knocked down, getting back up, but yeah. they're actually throwing like combos and stuff. I was like, what the hell? But it was really funny. Uh, and they just. And so you said just, you got a video of this? Yeah, I got the video. And so I'll show you guys after. All right. I'm definitely putting it It's in like this. the worst part of it. And then at one point, so I got this on video, but at one point, the guy that had clearly lost or was losing a bunch, like, um, or just like had been getting the worst of it the last few rounds. Kept still trying to fight to the to the point where everyone had to hold him back and yeah. basically like tackled him into some boxes <laughs> and I was like yo, like, yo that's how that ended but. yeah damn that's wild God love New York yeah. they they talk about Florida being crazy Florida's just as crazy I mean New York's just as crazy but uh, Luke and Phil y'all had a good week um I forgot my answer <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah a lot a lot happened week was straight um I actually there's a guy I went to high school with. Um, died in a motor, his motorcycle Jeez. accident. So that was actually kind of sad because he was a cool dude. So, you know, rest in peace to that boy, Keon. But, um, rest in peace, bro. It was real sad, man, because he was like a real just stand up dude. Had, and he had a wife and three kids and like Fuck. knew his wife. Like, mm-hmm. we all went to yeah. high school together. So that was real sad. The whole town's been sad about that. But, uh, yeah. Other than that, like, my week was just normal. Normal work week. Got you, got you. Sorry about that, bro. I saw that. You have anything? Thank God, <laughs> thank God I didn't have to follow uh, New York with that. <laughs> my week was great, all things considered. Um, shit. <laughs> yeah, it was fine. Right, Phil well, fucked me up. Well, if, if I didn't mean to be like the, the Debbie Downer, but yeah. it was just sad. You asked me yeah. about my week when I tell you. Nah, it's fair. It's fair. We're not holding it against you. All right, we can go right into the topic. So... Ron DeSantis, the governor of Florida, has been on his Trump shit since Trump's been in office and pissing off a lot of people, Disney being one of them. Um, And so Disney has pulled the plug on a $1 billion development in Florida. Oh, that was because of that. All right, I was going to ask that because I didn't know. I'm pretty, honestly, I didn't do my full research, uh, but I'm pretty sure that, because I know him and Disney have been going back and forth like the last couple of weeks or whatever. he's definitely not a Disney character, you know? (laughs) Not at all. But I guess a bunch of people, so I'm sure there's pros and cons to this, um, but I know a shitload of people from California were going to be moving to Florida um, to be working in this new $1 billion development. And now that they're not. Something for Disney. Let's well, see probably another, park probably another yeah, a park I, or like. I don't even. On that land. Yeah, I don't even know if it was a park. I think it was yeah. just like a office building or some shit. No, nah, it'll be uh, if it's I one billion, yeah. it's gonna be yeah. is like they're probably yes offices, yes park, and yes residential also. Yeah, residential and yeah. hotels. So that's fucking wild. They, they have like celebration is own yeah. is like a Disney city. You know what's what the number one most visited U.S. city is? What is it? Orlando. Orlando, really? Because of Disney? Because of like I'm not surprised. Of, well, all the parks, but all yeah. the parks, yeah. But Disney was the one, the park that started it, really. Disney, the Disney's the headliner. So that's wild. 
DeSantis trying to fuck up uh, jobs, money. jobs, yeah, the economy. I yeah. mean, if if Disney doesn't grow now, it's still gonna make a lot of money. It's fucking up expansion. What? Like if Disney? Stays no, the no, same. bro. You're talking. If they leave the state, that's a billion dollars. That's leaving the state. Oh, I'm. I don't think Disney's leaving. Is what I'm saying. I'm what? thinking they're gonna do that billion dollar development elsewhere. elsewhere. It's not like they're gonna be like, oh, you know what? That yeah. sucks. But they're not gonna and take not what they already it. have here, though. Either are they? Yeah, but it'll no, no, stay no. here. But yeah, like, that's here. more money, and that's like that's more jobs, tor- tourists coming here yeah, for the billion the dollar yeah. whatever the hell it was was gonna be. I'm not saying it's not. What I'm saying is if they stayed, okay. like if they didn't expand, there's yeah. still gonna be Disney, and people are still gonna come to Orlando, and it's still gonna make billions of dollars. They just wouldn't make it. more. Yeah, but his point was about like. Money and like the jobs potential, and yeah. all that stuff leaving yeah. the state all the stuff of Florida. That could have been. That's either it's a billion dollars invested in like there was going to be a billion dollars invested in Florida. Ron DeSantis did something, and now a billion dollars is no longer going to be invested here. I wonder where now. Probably L.A. I feel Isn't like maybe even is? like some Not L.A. It, yeah, it is. if it was, I feel like it can be Cali because I feel like if it was Cali, they wouldn't have had all these Californians moving down here. I feel like they probably don't have space in Cali or, or the money and, or and whatever. And it also could be just put on a back burner. Well, there's yeah. a there's I feel a like Texas. Like DeSantis is out of office. Well, Texas is where most of the the Californians went. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, it could be one of those things where it probably won't pass now. They probably pull it now. But if DeSantis gets out of office, a more progressive uh, governor comes into the state, it gets right back up because the space is still going to be there. You think that'll maybe? Happen? But if it's, they start it building somewhere could else, happen. I mean, no, yeah. it could. It could. <laughs> it could happen. It's it's. That's but it's highly you're, likely. Now you're talking about what ifs instead of what happened. So. I understand it, but we don't yeah. know that they moved it yeah. elsewhere either. We just know that they pulled it. We'll find out. Well, we, yeah, yeah exactly. We know that it's not. But I'm not happening, uh, and it was going to happen. It is still. I mean, I don't yeah. know. I can't find a clear on, answer on what exactly it was going to be. I feel like Luke needs to be our go-to Researcher. Googler. Look it up, Luke. Oh, let's see what's going on here. But yeah, DeSant- and uh, while we oh, on DeSantis like, yeah. news, I saw that in you're, 20- you're, you're I'm loud? Yeah. Oh, my fault. I saw that like, yeah. in 2024 <laughs> that DeSantis is going to be running for president. Jesus. Y'all going to be voting for- Fuck Yeah, but no. he's also a Republican no. too. So like- <laughs> He got to beat Trump so out. So imagine a Republican yeah. losing- a, like billions in business. Yeah. Like that, it doesn't make, it's, that's not a good look. Yeah, exactly. And wasn't him and Trump good at one time? I'm pretty sure they don't like each other. Not well, that's because Trump's trying to run and DeSantis has been trying to run yeah. also. Yeah, they beefing. But um, this, Trump would beat DeSantis. You think so? Yeah, he would. Well, yeah, DeSantis has been going crazy. DeSantis lately. rating I think is not had, going good. Yeah, I think he had a better chance a little while ago, but he's been going crazy lately. He's been like super extreme. Like he's been worse than Trump. So, yeah, that I'd rather they both rid- run though. So, you got rid of critical r- race theory or whatever. He just canceled all the funding to schools to talk about like diversity, equity, and inclusion and all that yeah. stuff. So, like when they when they told us at work, like yeah, we can't have diversity training anymore. Bro, that shit was wild to me. Have they done that at your work? But th- we have those all work. the time. So I, I but, feel like. Yeah. That'd be but, crazy. Yeah. But that was for state funded schools. Y'all, I thought no. y'all were yeah, private. So we're private. we are private, yeah. but UM, I don't know how Nova is, we still do get state funding. funding. Got you. So we still have to kind of follow that, even though we are a private school. I don't school. know if that applies. I know it's for state funding schools, so, which is interesting because I used to work in the diversity and inclusion office yeah. at FAU. Yeah. That shit as well. Yeah. Nothing, Luke. I found it. All right, well, what was the campus going to be? Okay, so it was going to be an office, but specifically for... Studios. Imagineering, which works with Disney's movie studio, studios to develop theme park attractions. Uh, oh, that's lit. Also, it's a $1 billion... It's $1.3 billion, but they pulled out on... A total seventeen billion over the course of like Sheesh. some years. So this that one office was one point three, but seventeen was the total planned amount for all of the developments that they were gonna do over the that's it, wild. in the future. Yeah, that's that's crazy for real. 
DeSantis out here. All right. That's well, definitely one of those things, though. If you get a different governor in the state, that could probably get re-rolled out and yeah. shit like that. Yeah, because those plans aren't going to just go away. Those are long-term plans because it's mm-hmm. like it's Disney's not going to leave Orlando. Yeah, exactly. Too much into the fucking state. Jobs too. Yeah. All right. Moving on. So the IRS says black taxpayers have been paying or have been more likely to get audited. Not which shocked, fucking, which is the wild, but at the same time. Wait, how did they come out and say this? So this I actually did read, oh, but, yeah. do, but do not remember as to why. I'll see if I could pull it up. But it was somebody in the law world. In the law world. <laughs> in the law world. Yeah, but world. that, so, I mean. Hmm. Here, I'll, I'll see if I could pull it up. That sounds kind of just like a clickbaity title, but I mean, that's what it is. Because if. So, it says, On Monday, the Internal Revenue Service performed an internal investigation and shared shocking news pertaining to black citizens. The IRS revealed that black black taxpayers are audited at a higher rate uh, than expected based on minority share in the U.S. population, per the New York Times. Mm -hmm. Per the documents, black Americans are up to five times more likely and have their federal tax returns audited in comparison to other races. These findings were announced after lawmakers ordered a review of the federal agency audit process pertaining to African-American taxpayers. IRS Commissioner Daniel Warfell wrote in the U.S. Senate saying, our initial findings support that support the conclusion that black taxpayers may be audited at a higher rate that would be expected given that they're a share of the population. So that was pretty much it. But, I wonder what it's like for... I've... Yeah, because it could just be an access to to like tax options, you know. What do you mean? Like to have your account to have an accountant to do your taxes. Because mm-hmm. the what the IRS does is they just go for the the lowest hanging fruit. Mm-hmm. So it might just be by default that black people are also the lowest hanging fruit because yeah. they just don't have access to the same the tax people resources. that other other people might or other other ethnicities might. Yeah, but. It, it, like you said, yes, it is kind of a clickbaity thing, but it is still wild yeah. to hear that, regardless of what you're saying is true or not, which it could be, but... It's not shocking. It's kind no, of on brand mm, for America. Yeah. Built off our backs <laughs> and then like, treat oh. us like shit. When I saw the title, I was like, huh, how did that? that's not shocking. Do y'all know anyone that's ever been audited? Mm-hmm. No. Bro, I'd be terrified. Personally, I'd be terrified. I don't, terrified, I don't think so. I, yeah, I know someone who's close to me and related to me and they're well off but it was it was like they just they were doing it themselves and they didn't have like their stuff together kind of thing Mm -hmm. and it wasn't like they were trying to evade it was just they made a mistake but if you have an accountant that's doing it for you they're not going to make mistakes and they also give accountants breaks yeah too so you're if you have an accountant and they fuck up and it's not on you if you're audited do they take that into consideration i actually don't know that answer I think I they know. would I don't, or they should. I don't know why I thought I just <laughs> like the expert on this. Because, <laughs> I mean, I've dealt with accountants for no, a lot of things no, it's now. Literally, it literally is just because he said, uh, I don't yeah, think, he knows someone I don't think so. Because even, like, those celebrities have accountants, and they still be on, like, yeah. Mm, yeah. I don't think so. Yeah, I think I if they fuck true. up, they fuck I up. I think the still IRS old. gives a shit. Yeah. yeah. You s- they're just still coming to you for the money. I don't think it's, like, they're, yeah. Yeah, because this is when, who... Who got like money embezzled from them? I think Steve Harvey came out about that, or somebody else was like, was "Yeah, people are stealing the money." Steve Harvey was, yeah, yeah, yeah. His so, but his oh. accountant was saying he paid the taxes, but was just was just keeping, keeping everything. But yeah. he still had to come up he with still that. Had to pay the money, yeah. Yeah. So I don't think no. Damn. That's how you supposed to get like two accountants, one to check the other. Do you do that? I can't. No, I don't need an accountant. <laughs> but if you have like that type of money. I feel like if you're in the oh, millions, yeah, no, if you you're got money to like that, maybe multiple accountants so can, or businesses or something. Yeah, they double check each other's work, so there's no slippage. Yeah, business accounting. <sighs> it's tough, and like it's pretty. I guess, but like for this house, I just talked to our accountant, and they don't know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. I'm joking. But listening to it, I'm like, I would have not known what any of this yeah. meant, and definitely messed up, like messed up things, and we probably wouldn't have gotten the uh, the return like tax return we'll, we'll probably get and so on so like whenever it's it's business stuff like that i'm just i just have someone do it yeah i'm glad i got Shout my dad because <laughs> i would be fucking up me and tatiana's taxes if it wasn't for him 
Is that gonna put that he makes a million makes a million dollars? <laughs> For real, bro. And a million in tax comes out. <laughs> Just you <laughs> accidentally hit an extra zero. <laughs> and they're like, give me that money. Yeah. <laughs> Where'd you make where is it? I so Montana is the first state that is going to be banning TikTok starting January first, twenty twenty four. All fifteen of them? <laughs> For real, bro. They can't. They got. Well, other other places are probably gonna. There's post. been a lot of universities within Florida that have been in TikTok. I mean, yeah, it's not the whole state, but it's just, it's just wild. It's not that wild though. Like for I, universities, I think, for a state, yes. But you, what you're saying about universities, I think not. both. I mean, I I was gonna say like YouTube was blocked in high school. Like <laughs> you go to school, you like they're not, on on campus. There's certain things that are blocked. Like that's, Facebook that's, was always that's, blocked. That's, it's always. Well, one I've never. Well, okay, let me let me pause real quick. When I was in high school, that was a long time ago. That was a long time ago. So they were yeah, still trying to figure thing. all that shit out. Like, yes, TikTok is a newer thing, but there has been social media. Two. Now that I think about, it, I don't even think YouTube was blocked for me at all. But if if you're Facebook saying Facebook was and, yeah. and like Twitter was and F- MySpace was, was for sure. There was certain yeah, MySpace. There were certain sites that were just blocked. Yeah, too. but that makes sense at like a high school, middle right, school, right. elementary school level. Yeah college you're living on that campus so even if it's blocked within the classrooms or wherever you're you you're doing your work yeah when you're going back to your dorm you should be able to watch whatever the fuck you want to watch even if it's porn like mm. you, you should still be able to watch that within the confines I see where of Zach's it. Agenda's <laughs> <laughs> so wait you said you said tiktok is keep porn on campus, on campus. <laughs> keep porn on campus yes i'm gonna see him outside with a picket sign <laughs> keep porn on campus. i mean it it, it, it makes sense for why they're blocking it because it's not an American-owned company. Yeah. And so in order to access it, you have well, to. Well, it's not that it's, yeah, not it's, that it's in a non-American-owned it's company. Not a yeah, the, da- the data it's leaks a, and all that shit. It's because it's a Chinese company or it's a chi- Chinese-owned company. I know. And okay. Well, it's still not either one of those. It's because the data. Their it, personal information. Yeah, personal information and data and all that stuff. Well, the, it isn't safely being transferred or whatever and because it is china or whatever well, it's because there's too much data being shared yes for like with america specifically like with american mm-hmm. specifically and it's yeah. a chinese company and all like china the chinese government has access to yeah, yeah, yeah. all everything. chinese companies exactly so and that they're like an adversary because there's there's just. other places where like where tiktok has has re- regulations in place where certain mm-hmm. things aren't shared and they're like there's uh, I forget what the what it's called, but basically the internet rules in Europe are are stricter than they are here. But TikTok is still there, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So it's not so much that TikTok won't abide to. Or actually, maybe they won't just abide to it for America. I don't know what the ins and outs are, but it's like there's restrictions in other places that don't share this much data, and like you have to be a certain age to get on and so on like that. But mm-hmm. that they don't have those same restrictions here in America. So like that. The difference there is kind of like, all right, what, why, why aren't, why isn't America the same as these other countries yeah. for TikTok? And don't a majority of apps sell your data? I'm sure. If you give them, them, if you yes. give them uh, permission, yeah, almost all your free apps, yeah, that's the benefit. Of, that's what pays for the app, the ad space. Yeah, but a lot of some of them, most a lot, well, not I'm gonna say most, but a lot of oh. those apps are Americans, <laughs> and they're not on the brink of war with America, which is a problem. So it's, a, it's like a security breach. And I know initially when like this TikTok being banned thing was like starting off, I saw articles saying, I don't know if they're true or not, that if you're caught getting used, if you get if you get caught using a VPN to access TikTok or anything like that in a place where it is banned, that you will be facing some kind of fine, jail time, anything like that, which is also crazy mm-hmm. to think about. But yeah, I mean, TikTok is free because they can they can make money on ads. Yeah. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all those are free because they can make money on ads. Only way, like someone another person explained, is that if if you're getting something from me, that means you're the product. I mean, if you're getting something for free, that means you're the product. Yeah. So all those things, all those free services used in apps is because they they might not be they're not selling. Like I mean, certain ones like Facebook and and certain social platforms they have privacy settings. They're not selling your PII. Yeah. But they're saying, hey, this is our audience, so this is how we can reach people, um, or reach these people. So these people being you, the users. Yeah. So do y'all think if TikTok eventually does get banned, that America will come up with its own 
version of TikTok, or do you think Instagram will just kind of take I mean, it and run with yeah, it? Yeah, Instagram can take <laughs> can, yeah. can fill that very easily. I mean, I'm sure there'll be other other social media platforms that come mm-hmm. out. Like every five years, there's one that kind of changes the game. Yeah, I mean, reels but, are reels are already somewhat similar. Reels yeah, are, I feel like reels will just take off even more. Yeah. They'll make its comeback again. You said what? It'll make its comeback. Because, like, you know how, like, you'll see a reel and everybody's like, oh, I saw that shit on TikTok. Well, I mean, reels were after TikTok. Were they? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. There was there was IGTV, which is longer form, kind of like, oh, let's play in YouTube space with vertical video. And then TikTok came out and then they made reels that. And they just made reels so they could be as long as possible. And yeah. So they don't have to have Mm -hmm. three different products out. Yeah. What about that one that uh, Tati uses? Be be real. Yeah, and that's a whole. Maybe, that's yeah, a whole different. different thing. Okay, that's completely different. So maybe that I don't might even blow think up videos, that's just pictures. No, yeah, it's oh. just pictures. Yeah. Phil showing his age. <laughs> Phil really doing all that shit, bro. Age. Yeah. Always showing, sending. Like, what are those videos. things? Those kids be doing the ticking and talking. Just Twitter, IG, and YouTube. Oh, while while and we Reddit. on uh and Reddit, yeah. Bro, I love Reddit. While we on I social, all three of you like Reddit. I, yeah. I, Reddit's cool, but I just. I don't know how to get into the rhythm of using it. Mm-hmm. I feel like y'all are like all locked, are very locked <laughs> in on Reddit. Well, yeah. yeah, I'm locked into so many different like subreddits. Nah, Luke's probably on Reddit the most. Yeah, like, Luke's definitely on. I am. I love. I this. just go to like look at fashion ideas and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, Tatiana on it heavy for all her shows that she watches in anime and whatnot. And then I just use it to answer questions or That's it. look at beautiful, <laughs> look at porn. beautiful people. But you look using Reddit <laughs> for the wildest shit, bro. Reddit is a wild space. <laughs> Wait, yeah. not the wildest things. That's what he does on every other platform. Yeah. Porn. He was literally like, <laughs> I could watch just... porn in middle school on my middle school computer. <laughs> they were actually in middle school one time. Oh, chill out, bro. No, we were. I I was in a computer class, and w- there was a project that we someone had, to had do. the teacher. The project was. Watching porn. No, it was like you had to come up with like a travel itinerary or something like that for like going on a trip. And then I don't know. I was looking. I was trying to look up like Yokohama tires for something. I don't know why. What the fuck? But it, it brought me. Yo, yo. It, no, it brought me to like. Zach's some trying ja- to tell us his twelve-year-old lie. Like <laughs> I'm yeah. not believing anything. No, this is, this is one hundred percent. Mom, I true. promise. I was looking at tires and my finger slipped. No, and this, I put tits. I put Yokohama no. titties instead of tires. <laughs> <laughs> no, and then so it popped up with naked but Asian I, women. Yeah, yeah, it was titties all over the computer screen, and but I was like too scared to exit out because I'm like, well, if I exit, then I'm like, <laughs> too scared to exit <laughs> no, out. Listen. Teacher, I don't want to touch this. I don't <laughs> no, know how that, it happened. That's exactly <laughs> what happened. So I got up, I ran to the teacher. I'm like, hey, I explained her the story. I was like, I was trying to look up Yokohama tires, and this popped up. She's like, just exit out of it. You're fine. I was like, okay, thank you. It was hentai, wasn't it? <laughs> no, it, yeah, was, it was definitely was hentai. Holy shit. <laughs> Yoshiko? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, Zach, Zach's such a pervert. <laughs> My dog been searching titties since bro, I Reddit, bro. On, <laughs> on Reddit, that's wild. Well, yes, on, on Reddit. But I use Reddit to find deals and stuff and or advice. I've been using Reddit for like fashion stuff too. You can find you can yeah. find like sales and stuff that other people obviously find first and they put it on there so and they'll give you promo If people codes. don't get the Yoshiko thing, that's Zach's middle name. <laughs> bro, yeah. TikTok, you could be getting way better fashion stuff, I'm telling you. Dang, that's why you're slumped. <laughs> <laughs> he said, that's why you dress like that because you're looking at Reddit. And wait, that, no, 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 time wait, You know what's crazier? Zach sized him up like that and he still didn't tell him to shut the fuck up. Like he that's told you. wild, bro. I can't. You know what? I'm on Zach didn't size. size me up. How do you size me up? Bro, because your said, hands aren't he, free. He, he said, <laughs> if your hands were free, they might be flying. <laughs> he said, um, what did he say? He said, oh, yeah, you should definitely be on Reddit fashion. TikTok. You can get TikTok. way better TikTok. ideas. No, I like my ideas that I get. That's what I'm saying. He didn't say that. They're not your ideas anyway. If you're looking at Reddit, they're other people's ideas. I mean, it's not. I don't. I don't take their every fucking thing. Yeah, it's inspiration, and I combine it with some other shit. Way better inspiration. What you said. Yeah, you wouldn't be looking like that. Maybe just like I can get better recipes, but I kind of like what I like, and I don't feel like. How are you gonna get better recipes? You're vegan. You're old head, bro. I am a no head. I like it that way. All right. Anyways, moving on. We're on like topic number three, which is well. So layups. Importance. Oh, layups. Uh, okay, that's my thing. <laughs> Wait, layups importance? The importance yes. of layup, right? In yes. basketball? No, no, no. It's it's deeper than that. How important being able to shoot a layup has been in your life? Oh. I seen Cuddy tweet something about yeah, this. Yeah, we were talking about this in basketball. Yeah, we, so we were 
I forgot who it was. Either Worm or Cuddy. I think Worm brought it up. Oh yeah, Worm was like, "Yo, if I can't respect, I can't respect a dude that can't shoot a, a, a proper layup." Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, "Damn, I low-key feel the same." <laughs> and then we just started. We were just talking about layups in general, and I'm like, um, "Cuddy said layup equals friendship." And I was like, "Yo, low-key, I don't, I would know a ton of people if I would didn't know how to shoot a layup." Yeah. Like, all the people I know, like, we all, like, hooped at the wreck and stuff and played. But most of the people I know, I just, I wouldn't know them if I couldn't shoot a layup. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, my life would be very different. I would, and I was just asking, like. I don't know if that's true, though. What? If your guys, layups if, are important. If your guy. Because no, Phil how, gets threes and can't hit layups. It's definitely not important. <laughs> no, but I'm saying it's, it, it's not to everybody. It's, um, the question is for each person, how oh. important has, is a layup? to your current your current life i, I get what you're getting at because if i w- didn't play basketball my whole life trajectory would have been different like i don't know what the fuck i would have been doing but probably never would have got into working in tremorals so i never would have met y'all i wouldn't have been in the gym in the wreck, yeah yeah because the reason i started Dang, working out in the first place blame, was being a basketball player and working out in in high school lifting lifting weights and all that stuff so if i had never hooped would have had a completely different group of friends. And even if I would have stuck with football, I don't know if I would have. I would have been a fucking dumbass football player. <laughs> and I probably never would have worked in the wreck. I, I still don't think that would have been the case. So I don't know. I get what you're getting at. Yeah. It, for, yeah, Phil, you didn't really know how to shoot a layup until you got here. Can't say the same. <laughs> like, I, I still don't know how to shoot a layup. Yeah. But, but you, you got you to get together. You definitely can. I'm a little bit better at them. I still don't prefer them. Like, but it's not that every every single person is a layup's going to be important to them. But it's just that, like, so Luke, how do you think your life would be the same if you couldn't shoot a layup? Oh, my life would not be the same. Yeah, mine's wouldn't be the same, but it'd be similar. Yeah, yeah. Luke, Phil's probably wouldn't be that much different. Not yeah. to say and that's not to knock anything yeah. or knock anyone. I was just like, it's kind of crazy how important. We have a lot more to offer. It's not our whole personality trait is basketball. Right. But I definitely feel like Phil more, you too, you you as well. Like you're very friendly and can have conversations with little, literally everybody. Like yeah. anytime we go to a new place, AJ knows somebody. Same thing with Phil. Phil can strike up a conversation with everybody. Me and Lou, we're a little more reserved, not as friendly. And I, I do feel like basketball has kind of played a, a huge role in where we in are today. Social yeah. Ability, yeah. And neither one of us are going to be basketball refs if we didn't play basketball. So That's true. But yeah, I mean, I wouldn't I wouldn't have ever gone to the rec if I wasn't going. Like, I didn't go to work out like you yeah. guys worked out. Like, I worked out sometimes. Yeah. But I was going there to play, like, every single day. Yeah. Like, little Van Van. Yeah. Play, <laughs> play on the rec every day. The facts. Facts, facts. All right, last random topic. So, Lust, uh, wow, Lustin Jaboy. Lustin Le- Jab- did I write that? No, Justin Leboy. I uh, just what was the spoke. thing? You said you wanted to be a pod topic, Phil. It was a post he sent. I'll see if I could quickly pull it up. Why um, the fuck wouldn't you add that? I forgot about it, to, to be honest he with you. He said pod topic. I said, take a note of this. <laughs> nothing happened. Nah, I did not have. <laughs> okay, what's Justin Leboy, though? Leboy. While we look for the other thing. He is an annoying Instagram. Oh, you don't know like is his like tweets or whatever. Off? That nigga is annoying. Did I, I send was, in the? Um, I was surprised you sent him. Yeah, it, it's a, because I forget. Let me see. Bro, we sent so much shit. So okay, I got it. Got it, it says, "Why didn't you ask for help?" Which quote? Why didn't you ask for help? End quote. Uh, because you saw I I needed it and didn't offer. So I'm assuming you're saying that are you someone that asks for help? Or do you just sit there and struggle until somebody asks you? Did you read that right? Yeah. Let me say that again. Yeah, what if he I, said this as a pot topic and he didn't really <laughs> understand what he was saying? Oh, no, I saw. Uh, yeah. yeah um, I figured you did. Yeah. F- I, I just wanted to know y'all opinions. Are y'all those type of people? So I, I don't really ever ask for help. And that's one of my toxic traits, I guess. I just go about things on my own. That's that's a yeah, question. Yeah, but would you say I, because? I, but would you be like because you saw I, I needed it and didn't offer? Like, would you like, be is mad that at your somebody? reason? That, no, that that's not your reason. I wouldn't right? be mad at anybody, and I wouldn't be like, oh. I, I feel like that's a toxic it. like yeah. response. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know, we call everything toxic. That's just not. A that's not the most response. effective response. Right. 
Yeah. It may, I could maybe understand that if, like, you've told people that you don't like asking for help or, like, it depends on what the situation is. Like, it's, yeah, I mean, even still, it is not, <laughs> it's not a really good response yeah. regardless. Yeah. Is I ask for help if I need it. Same. But, but I'm big on like, yo, if you need help, ask for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Cindy like, doesn't ask for help. Don't ask for help because if you... I don't know how... For me, if I see you struggling, so like I kind of understand it. Yeah. If I see you struggling, I'm going to let you struggle a little bit before I offer to oh. help you just to see if you can ask for help. Oh, yeah. no, not me. Like if you got fucking four boxes in your hand and you're trying to fucking thug it out and I'm right there not doing shit. I'm going to like, right. keep not doing shit, bro? <laughs> I'm going to see if you can ask for help. Like if I, maybe What if it's a she? I'll see if she asks for help. If uh, you need help, ask for he. it. It's this thing where it's like, okay, it's nice if someone offers you help, right? Yeah. But everyone's not going to offer you help. Mm-hmm. So if no one offers you help and you need help, are you just going to try to struggle? Or, and, then, and then look at me looking at you struggling? Or are you going to be like, yo, you think you give me a hand? Oh, I think about it a little bit differently. I ask for help. And if someone doesn't ask for help but I see them struggling, I'm going to go help them. Offer. Uh, yeah, offer to help them. The only thing is, though, Cindy does, doesn't like asking for help. And if I don't see her struggling, and so, like, I'm like she's in another room doing something, she'll get upset with me <laughs> and be like, why you didn't come help me? I'm like, what? But that's, that's, that goes along with that, though, right? No, because I didn't see her. If I see you're her, saying you saw the person. Yeah, you're saying you saw the person. Yeah. If I didn't, but not, I'm just saying in if general, I see like, her struggling, I'm not going to, like... I'm not going to want to see her struggling to do anything, like, so I'm going to help. Or at least offer to help. Yeah, I think yeah, it depends yeah. on the person. Like, if it's somebody I don't know, or like, even, like, if somebody I know, I'm like, yeah, I got you. But if it's somebody I don't know, then, and I'm not as comfortable with, or I don't know, like, they fully struggling. Yeah, I mean, something. it depends on the situation. Yeah. It's not always just, like, boxes or something, you know? Yeah, but it's just one of those things, like, um, it was more so to the point that if you need help, just ask for it. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, that's where I stand. Because if I'm struggling with something, I'm like, yo, you think you help me with this? Or you think you can show me that? Hey, I need a hand. I can't carry all this. I thought I thought it was, like, talking about some, like, bigger stuff. Like, going through life things, you know? It could be that, too. Yeah. Yeah. You should ask, but I feel like, I don't know. I, I'm more on, Sometimes it's on hard the book side. Yeah, it's hard to, like. If it's a life thing. Yeah. 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 Like, for prime example, AJ all the time is the first person that will offer to help you move from location to location, whereas I do not like asking anyone for help. But I feel like if I don't ask AJ, AJ will be like, bro, why the fuck didn't you ask me for your help? And that's a great friend right there. And then Phil on the flip side, not that this is a bad thing, but Phil, hey, I need y'all boys to help, which that's how I wish I could be. Oh, facts. I'm moving. I'm Yo, (laughs) I'm about to move. Y'all niggas free? Like, for sure. What about when you ask someone for help? And they don't help you. So be it. You figure it out. You ask other people and you just go who you kind of go with who can help you. But my thing is like, I'm going to ask every single time. And I if just, someone can't help me, then they can't help me. I'm not going to be mad that they can't help me. Like yeah. people still got a life. Well, but at the same time, I'm well, not going to like, There's been times where you've needed help, like help being just someone to talk to. And you've been too prideful or just not wanted to talk. You know what I'm saying? Me? When no. you actually needed it. When? Just I'm, like going through, yeah, through through hard stuff and yeah. I don't know we're bro. not gonna put you yeah. out there but yeah but for sure maybe, maybe. there's been a couple there's definitely been a couple times no Jay I don't know I'll drop names right now. well Matt I'm, I'm, I'm joking I mean no it's not I'm joking. It's, just, it's just things in life things in general like well generally like with life shit I like to handle it by myself first and then like I like to be alone first so I don't like to mm, I like okay. to process and then like and so me being alone, I think eventually I ask for help. But like initially, if it's some life shit, I like to handle it on my own first. I don't want to ask for help yet. Yeah, I gotta be able, like I have to get to a point to accept help. I don't even get to that point until I'm like fucking, fucking pissed off or like down or super super down or some shit. I don't know. But I do like to be alone first. Got you. I just I hate inconveniencing people. That's my, both that's why Tatiana I always that's why I, I always offer like for big for stuff like that. Yeah. Like I well I know how you are, so I know for sure. Yeah. Um. And like I know other things, I know I know how all you guys are, so I know when, when to offer and when to, when to be like, all right, just let me know if you need something, kind of thing, you know. I usually always try to offer help, and then if they don't want it or don't use it, like I always offer, offer, offer. I'm like, yo, like you need, I'll let you. I'll boy. send some reminders <laughs> you know sometimes. I mean? You know what I mean? If, yeah, if, if it if it's like, 
especially in like life shit, I always reach out. I'm like, yo, you good? You yeah. good? And if somebody's like, no, I'm straight, and they just be like, I'm good. I'm like, all right, I'll let you do your own thing. Yeah. I definitely let some of the homies like learn the hard way type shit because you offer it so many times and they just be like, no, I'm straight. And I'm like, bro, you, I don't, you don't look straight. Like, you don't seem straight. Like, you seem off. And it's like, no, nah, I got it. I'm like, all right, shit, you got it. And then they fucking tumble. Yeah, no, I, <laughs> I'm that way too. Like, I'm going, I'm always going to offer, but yeah. if, I'm going to offer you say no. Be like, all right, remember, I'm always here. I may check in another time if I see it's obvious that, like. Yeah, like you straight. Like it's, yeah. it's, uh, maybe I should check out or, or check in or maybe I just haven't heard from you in a minute. And stuff's been, like, different. Yeah, but after a certain point, it's also, like, all right, there should be some onus on that person. It's not. Yeah. It's not always the other person's responsibility to be like, hey, yo, and chase after people. I hate that that question came from uh, LaBoy. I just don't <laughs> like that, mom. The question, and the question was, like poorly it, it was very one-sided because it was yeah. just like his, a lot of his things are one-sided though. yeah like yeah it's just bias into some of his stuff but that's why i brought it up as really? a pod discussion because we could elaborate and go a little bit deeper on it yeah and it's very surface level did you have a question of the week he does hey let's go phil what is it first time in a long time i do it is what um, is it it's actually it's I, got, I actually got this one off instagram it was um if there was a sound every time you got a boner, what would the sound be? <laughs> what, bro? I thought it was going to be something like... Something deep? Yeah, something deep. Like, nah, wow. light, light He's like, up. yeah, I got one, guys. I definitely got one. That's kind of hilarious. Time. The one time he writes it down. Damn. Sound so I thought about this. It's got to be something subtle. So I, yeah, if, if, there was a sound, <laughs> if there was a sound every time you got a boner, what would the sound be? I thought about it. And in a different group chat, I was like, uh, mine's would be the uh, default Apple text message sound. Nah, that's mm-hmm. too. That's it, too. Because uh, then if no, I get hard in the sky, you never know. Yeah, yeah, yeah that is. It just true, sounds like a text true. message. But Zach, the comedian me in me wants it to be. Oh uh, yeah. Oh man. This guy. It's okay. But wouldn't yeah. Zach right, would want funny. everyone to know that he has one? No, I wouldn't. Zach. Be, Zach, Zach being the pervert would be whoopee. Zach being the pervert. No, but that. I got a boner. That'd be the sound. Yeah, but Zach isn't like I want to be found out type. It's full. I think so. Don't delete any pictures. Just you just delete the last parts. Oh. Oh yeah. So anyway, um, yeah. Zach isn't like. Zach likes. What does Zach mm. like? What? I don't want to say Zach's a pervert because a pervert makes it sound cra- yeah, crazy. He's but. Right. He's just. He doesn't want people to know he's aroused. He's just easily. He's just easily aroused. Exactly. I'm sexually active, bro. But the, the comedian in me wants it to be like the ding done like like uh, the old like timers and like old oh, yeah. ovens ding. like, oh, ding, ding. <laughs> <laughs> like when something's fresh baked yeah. or like the toaster <laughs> that toaster sound that'd be funny. I don't know. I because people because also... most people be like, what the hell? Like what? There's no toaster around here. And then maybe if like if you're with your significant other, only only that person knows. They like, know what time it is. Yeah. yeah. I think I'd want it to be like a harp, something beautiful. Please don't make this the clip. This is getting really funny, but don't make this the clip. <laughs> I will. What would yours be, Luke? I don't know, bro. That's tough. A Nike swoosh. What the hell is the noise? <laughs> like whoosh. <laughs> like a swoosh sound. Whoosh. I don't know what mine would be. Oh my. Mine would be like one of those. Uh, mine would be an annoying sound. Like the cuckoo clocks. The, what the, about a rooster? Where the bird flies out. Imagine it was a rooster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, mine I, would be I something actually, mad annoying. I want it to be a, a granddaddy clock. Like the ding. Oh, my God. Grandfather <laughs> clock? <laughs> yeah, grand- <laughs> hey, what, what, what I granddaddy clock? Granddaddy clock. What you went to over there? <laughs> granddaddy. Bro, well, low-key the food might sound good. Bro, I'm wondering. Bro, it's been like an hour. That's who called me. Oh. Or like, oh, we're going to eat your food if you don't answer. The cuckoo clocks, bro. Just you know, the yeah, bird flies. Nah, just it's not me. called a granddaddy clock. I grandfather, <laughs> it's grandfather. <laughs> yeah, give me that text message. Uh, it's never been granddaddy. Give me that sorry. default Apple text. <laughs> it's not a. Da- it's not a daddy clock. Daddy, dad. <laughs> that that video. Daddy chill. Daddy chill. That's gotta be the daddy clip. chill. Daddy what chill. the hell even is that? <laughs> <laughs> That's gotta be the clip for the granddaddy clock. What the hell is he, is he even that? <laughs> I uh. Get it off your chest. So I had UPS. They let me down. 
So Tatiana and I's one year anniversary is coming up on Saturday. Mm -hmm. If you're listening to this, it already passed. I purchased a gift like over a week ago and paid for (laughs) expedited shipping. And they just now gave me the uh, shipping date and it's coming the 24th. So this upcoming Wednesday, tomorrow, if you're listening to this on Tuesday. So at least you get your money back. Let me down. Am I? Yeah, and they if you pay for expedited shipping and they don't ship it in time, you get your but money back. But it also depends on when the the company shipped it, actually yeah. shipped it, because they can print the label, and it'll show up as label created, mm-hmm. and a sh- a tracking ID will pop up, but it's not actually with UPS. Yet. Yeah. Did they give you a um, expected date as supposed to return? Right. I mean, to be delivered. So it said four to six days. So I guess if it shipped, or yeah, it shipped two days ago. So I guess by Wednesday is six business days, but still hella annoying. That's also poor planning by you, though. Yeah. Um, also, you a, should, an you anniversary should gift, and you wait a week before your anniversary. This was two weeks before. That's the enough time. Okay, so that, I feel like you should definitely plan more. Farther two weeks ahead is a good amount events. of time if they're if they're. Yeah. Like and if I did expedited ship, it's not no, that I yes. did standard shipping. Yeah. That's definitely enough time. But the fact that you did expedited shipping is because, probably because you thought it was gonna be cutting I close. Just, I was trying to be. Extra, ca- extra, yeah, extra, extra cautious. I guess Luke would have shipped that shit a month ago. Yeah, I would have. I would have tried to plan it a month or but two. But you're in ridiculous. That's not how normal people operate. Even what I did isn't what normal people do. I was still being extremely cautious. You're like next level. This is me being extremely cautious. Yeah, I, I mean, know. honestly, that's Luke's, facts. Exactly right. A normal person would have probably bought it the same day I did and did normal shipping. Or maybe bought it earlier this week. So I would have bought it the week of. Exactly. He would have gone in store. I, I would have bought, found the, something in I store. bought it the week of and expedited the, the ship in the week. Yeah. <laughs> but, I don't um, know. I feel like, I don't know. No, with stuff, definitely. With big events or big like milestones or dates, Yeah. Like I try to be sure that things are on time. I feel you can get your money back. Try to get your money back. Let them know just, hey, yeah. I order expedited shipping and shipping time, so I'm going to refund. And they yeah. should, they'll usually give it to you. Got you, got you. All right, someone put performative marketing. Was Me. this you? Was this Adidas? Hell yeah, bro. I, it's so stupid. Also, if anyone ever wants to get trans news, Phil is the person to go to. It's all Phil feed, loves bro. trans news. Anytime there's something trans related, Phil is always sending it. Actually, that sending guy, it to you? No, no I to put the in chat. Like, no, Phil, that guy that actually got sent to me. Phil loves trans um, topics. That got sent to me. Well, because I think the trans topic makes for a bigger, just greater societal conversation that yeah. we can go down that rabbit hole. But but no, I don't like performative marketing because that got sent to me, and I was like, well, this is stupid. Um, so tell the people what it was. It was um, Adidas got backlash for putting a. a how do I say this? Um, I don't even know what to write. A man, a male, mm-hmm. a male, man, men, whatever you want to say. <laughs> male, male man. man. I don't fucking know. I don't man. think it was a UPS. <laughs> a male they. A yeah. USPS driver. He's saying a male they. Male for putting a for a putting man. a man in a woman's swimsuit, and I thought, um, I think that's stupid. And so they got backlash for it, yeah. obviously, because this is my thing, right? If and I'm all for. Um, There's the food. Inclus. Um, I'm all for gender inclusivity and marketing, right? And like um, genderless clothing. If that's what you're going to do or promote, I'm all for that. My issue is I think it's performative marketing because you're putting a a guy with a penis Mm -hmm. in a swimsuit that's not even made for the male body. It's made for a a female's anatomy. Yeah. It's so so. Why yeah, would that, I, that bulge was bulge. Or bro, and that, you know how uh, that's a wildly uncomfortable. One hundred percent. So I was like, bro, this is stupid. Out there. <laughs> so that that's my thing. It's like if you really wanted to, if you really want to do like um, if you really want to be fair and do genderless marketing, just yeah. create a swimsuit that's genderless. Mm-hmm. That can be. That can. That's made to be comfortable for both men and women with both sexual organs. Yeah. That's what I'm for. I'm not for companies doing stupid shit like that because it doesn't make sense. That's nah, all. I agree. So when I saw the ad, I was like, bro, this is fucking stupid. That's not how you, that's not. You gotta send it to me because I was, I was trying to figure out that food thing. So he put it in Discord earlier. Oh. Okay. So it's a one piece bathing suit, like that looks like a swim team would be wearing. Like a women's swim team? Yeah. And it was a guy in it. I don't know if it was a trans person. I don't. I the don't the really title know. just said man. 
Wait, should be. The guy in the picture has long hair. I don't want to assume What's anyone's someone? gender. It's someone in, no, it's not. Is it in that one? Which one was it? I, I think you put it in general. General? Yeah. Yeah, okay, there we go. Uh, like, uh, that to me is stupid. <laughs> So yeah, that that was that was my issue. That's all, because I'm like, if you if well, I don't know. It's like a, it could be a what do you call it? It's like it's a men, women's men wear speedos. What's a woman's swimsuit line though? If you designate it as a woman's swimsuit line, I, I guess women. I mean, I, that's yeah. Like, you know what I mean? I don't know. The cut could be like speedo. I got chips and guac. Oh no, yeah. No, yeah, All right, TNT app subtitles. <laughs> that was me, bro. TNT sucks in general. The app is terrible. Bro, bro. So you don't even need to just specify they subtitles. They don't even have picture in picture yet. Like, what the hell are you yeah, doing? I Facts. hate. Who uses TNT app? Uh, NBA. Me. Have you not watched the playoffs? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Yeah, it watches on YouTube yeah. TV, so. Okay, well, I watch on TNT. Yeah, like, same. I didn't know that they had it for free. Bro, on it TNT. is the worst app. It's for free? Yes. 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 No, if you have well, a, you you need a provider, provider to provide provider, yeah. Oh, oh. I so on the iPhone it sucks, on Xbox it sucks, on Apple TV it sucks everywhere. And the thing is, it's like when you open it up on your iPhone, you have to com- you always have to like exit out of the app to refresh it because if you try to open it from the last time you had it, it doesn't work properly. Like you said, AJ doesn't have picture in picture. You can't turn off the closed captioning. I've never had that issue. Yeah, though. me neither. I cannot do it on my Apple TV to save my life, bro. It's really? like you have to. Go on the website to turn off the closed caption. Doesn't let me do it in the app. <laughs> it's so stupid, bro. Yeah. I, I hate it with a passion. Um, yeah, so TNT, get your please shit together. get your shit together. Please, I'm begging you. And the announcers all suck on TNT. Except for, uh, is Kevin Harlan on yeah. TNT? Yeah, yeah, yeah he's well, the it's only one. Kevin Harlan. Reggie, Reggie Miller. Miller. Uh, I don't think dre- Kevin Harlan's bad. No, he's Reggie not Miller's bad. Reggie bad, Miller sucks. But- uh, what's the ball head? Dude? Reggie Miller's Anthony, not that bad. Anthony I something. Don't like the Reggie the ball head black guy is it Anthony. Oh no. Yeah, he's not that good either. Yeah, but not. obviously, Shaq. There's someone else. Chuck. Yeah. The, they have good. the best halftime yeah. show. Is for sure. Is Reggie, Reggie, like his his voice is annoying, but he's not terrible. Wait, what's the who's who has? Golly, what? Oh, Van Gundy is uh, ESPN. Van Gundy, yeah. yeah. Okay. Van Gundy and Mark Jackson. Is Chris Webber on TNT? Yes, yeah. I think so. No, but I, I don't think he's I don't think playoffs. anymore. I think yeah. There's another dark skinned black guy too. Chris not is it not Chris not Chris Hayes. Um I think somebody else, but I can't think of it. But yeah, that's all I had to get off my shoe. What's his name is Lit uh buddy from South Florida, Mark Jones. Mm-hmm. Oh yes. He's Everyone so loves him. I love him, bro. I seen him somewhere. I forgot where I seen him at. But I was too scared to say anything. I've talked to him a bunch of times. Like his, Have you? He, yeah, his son played is Julian's age. He played, I guess, him in high school. Oh, that's lit. Yeah. Where'd he I play? I thought you at? knew that. Uh, no, Cypress Bay. Oh, okay. Like my and and obviously coaching against them and stuff. My dad would talk to him all the time. Yeah, but Mark Jones is lit because he uses the kids' lingo. He's also yeah. low key a Heat fan too. Yeah, and he said that they were smoking on the Knicks pack. <laughs> at the end of the game. All right, best thing you've seen. I'll start it off. Started the podcast off by shouting out Adam, but once again, Adam got me the Crocs. To Leahy Bembry, you can that say I've it right now. That I've been so we, we the Crocs crew over here, AJ and Phil both wore their pairs over here. Luke is the only one that didn't wear his pair. Surprisingly. I wore uh, your Birks. Some Birkenstocks. What are they called again? I don't even know. The Boston, I think. Yeah. Boston Birkins. Yeah. That's funny. Nick texted me recently saying we have to get a pair. Of Boston Birkins? Yeah. The close toe ones. Damn. Shout out to the close toe Everyone ones. on TikTok has them. Phil wouldn't know that, though. <gasps> Oh, damn, so tough. <laughs> what they got on Reddit fashion? <laughs> a bunch of shit that I wear. Like they still wearing the sketches. the big stomper feel is on <laughs> on Reddit. <laughs> nah, it's, it's the um the one I follow is just shoes, so they just post a lot of shoes that aren't mics. Mm-hmm. So you know, A six, New Balances, stuff like that. You got you, got you. Yeah, switch it up because I'm everybody like everybody okay. can dress up mics, but. Let me yeah. see you dress up something that's not Mike's and make mm-hmm. it look good. I don't know that everyone can dress up Mike's. Nah, Mike's is a deep Mike's. Mike's is a cheat code when it comes to fashion. I feel like I feel Mike's like Jordan too. 1's are a cheat code. You put Jordan 1's on anything and it looks pretty that decent. That's not on anything. That's not true. That and dunks. That and dunks for sure. Anything? For the most part, I think they Dunks, can, yes. I think dunks are it maybe but Air Jordan 1's nah. I don't think Jordan so. 1's aren't no. <laughs> they, that's two different things. Huh? 
Aren't dunks and dunks and Jordan ones aren't the same thing? No. <laughs> Like the original Jordans, like the '85 ones. Yeah, you know, go to TikTok, get off Reddit. Is they look exactly. similar, but they're not the same thing. But but you can put the, but you can dress them with anything. Is my point. Yeah. So like if somebody the ones that are that are easier to dress are dunk lows. Are low are dunk, yeah, dunk yeah. lows yeah. probably. Yeah, I don't think. Well, actually, I have seen people wear dunk highs. That's a lie. Bro, uh, but dunk highs don't go with everything. That's true. Only and certain people do. Can but Jordan, Jordan, but Jordan ones kind of do with any colorway. You nah, can get the right really. colorway. They pretty much go with anything. We disagree. That's all. Yeah. yeah I think it's Anything Chico. else y'all got for best thing you've seen this week? Oh. I mean, I, I already explained the whole New York trip. So that that was it. <laughs> oh, I have. I, <clears throat> bro, speaking of trips, I just booked. I'm going to Portugal. It's lit. Hey. Same, well, same time as Rach. Was September? Uh, no. September 10th to the 27th. Dang, I might slide. Oh, Wait, let me know what the hell, what's going on. Well, and maybe if you I'll slide, slide. It'll be like if you slide, you got a place to stay. So. I'll make it my like birthday trip, or something. It'll be. Uh, I mean, yeah, you won't have to pay for Airbnb or nothing. I mean, I just gotta ask my parents, but and it'll be, be your. First you say you're time. gonna try to different Europe, Europe places too, right? Yeah, I'm. Well, right now, so I have a. Earlier, I missed a call with Rage. We were supposed to talk um, about where we're going. So I have a little Excel sheet that I created uh, with like flight prices and uh, Airbnb prices. But right now it's looking like London and maybe uh, Marrakesh. Where is Marrakesh? Uh, Morocco. Damn, I want to fill the answer. Oh, my bad, my bad. Yeah, Ma- Morocco's my- on my bucket list, yeah. like high on my yeah, bucket yeah. list. They have beautiful so, but- <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. I didn't say they have like Reddit they have has the best beautiful women. Titty, they got the best Instagram booty. has beautiful women. Middle school computer. <laughs> TikTok has beautiful women. <laughs> middle Zach. computer class in <laughs> middle school has beautiful women. <laughs> I will say, even though I am a buck guy, shout out to Twitter. This have you been seeing the all the beautiful titties on your timeline, Bro. Phil? For what on on Twitter? There's been a thread going on. I'm, I wasn't even finished. <laughs> no, I'm like, I literally Twitter. just mentioned <laughs> Morocco, and he's like, bro, titties, bro. <laughs> no, la- last thing I heard was... And you're telling me he's not a pervert? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying what's on my time. I don't know. That's it. The proof is in the pudding. No, there's a titty thread on t- uh, Twitter? Yeah. Send it to Twitter. Titty thread on Twitter? Well, let's make an app. Zach, send that. Leave out this Yeah, you really have. Let's make an app. Send that titty thread on Twitter. On Twitter. It's, it's like strictly... it's like only feet or whatever they call it feet finder yeah Twitter. only feet <laughs> all right my bad as a as a uh, as a so new American, boot man i'm but, all for it but it's wild but that's also africa though not yeah. europe yeah what, what about oh, it? i thought you were just saying europe well i asked what other european places oh, you're going. Oh. And you said you're going other places in europe you never mentioned uh, well yeah the, i mean i have a list of like dublin amsterdam like places that i have on the sh- excel sheet that are options <laughs> But right now, like when I looked at like things to do, in those in all of the places, uh, London. And you said was it a seven day trip? You said no. I'm going tenth uh, to the twenty seventh. Oh, Two weeks, seventeen it? days. Yeah, yeah. Um, you definitely need to slide to Holland. That's crazy. Yeah. So well, yeah. I we haven't obviously we haven't narrowed down where exactly, but flights once you're in Europe are cheap. Bro, yeah. Flights are dumb cheap. It's like taking the mega bus. So when I was in Italy, we flew to Paris, which is like a two and a half hour flight, three hour flight. It cost us like $60 round trip, including a bag. When I looked at flights to Morocco from Lisbon and flights to London, bro, $80 round trip Damn. <clears throat> Jeez. for e- either place. So it's like none of the place. I have 10 cities on the list. None of the cities are over $100 to fly to. That's round trip. And that's including a bag. That's nice. So, um, and then obviously, if I get an Airbnb or whatever, I'll just split it with Rage. Sorry um, if I zoned out. Did you say how much it costs to go from here to Portugal? Uh, it depends on when you go, but um, my flight was like eight hundred. Not too um, bad. I mean, you can go in like December, January, when it's c- pretty cold, um, for like four hundred. Uh, but. I didn't want to pay the summer prices, which are closer to like fourteen hundred. Mm. But I feel like eight hundred—that's a flight to like the West Coast. Mm. Oh, it's not well, as it's high. More it's, than not, a, it's more than a flight to the yeah, West it's Coast. It's more than a flight yeah. to the West Coast. I, I mean, f- it's more. But I, I, I flew to LA like, for like three hundred bucks. 
<clears throat> yeah, I mean, that flight was like four hundred, like four fifty. But you so. can you can get a flight for four hundred, but you're gonna be going in the winter. Yeah. Um, or you're gonna be going like a random time in like September, October. So it's not really too too cold. But yeah, I wanted to go and experience it, and my parents live there now, obviously, so it'll be nice to go and. My dad's I renting. I could take seventeen. Days. My dad's renting a car, so um, we're gonna be going around Portugal and maybe even into Spain, um, probably like Madrid or something like that. Because uh-huh. it's a, I think a five hour drive from where they're at. Nice. Tell mom and dad. Damn, and I think mom. soccer season's done, so I don't even think you could catch a soccer game or anything like that. Oh, that would be kind of lit, though. Yeah. Hi, mom. Hi, dad. Dad. Mom. Anything yeah. else for best thing? Zach, nah. you? Oh, you said it. L- yeah, the, the Crocs and the titties. titties. And the titters. Mm, nah, I don't have anything this week. Damn, I'm sorry, bro. Oh, we got snacks that Luke wanted us to try. Is this now the, is now the time? Is, is it, that? Mm, I mean, we can skip we it because we still have a lot left. Skidoo. It's up to you. No, we can do it. <laughs> I, well, I, I mean, I might just get one bite, but it's majority for everyone else because I've tried these before. So I know we were just talking about your parents, but Eon, I apologize in advance. Because I know uh, last time you said we had a long podcast, and I know this will be another long podcast. Oh, yeah. yeah and he listens to it, too, like he, the whole thing. Your dad listens to a podcast? Yeah. Well, then he can Damn, save I know this. he'd be judging me. I'm sorry, oh, Mr. 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 Bang. Wait, Bang Court. let me see what I, oh, the ingredients I'm ingredients sorry, Dad. Are. Hi, Mom. Ingredients. Bro, Luke cheese, told bro. his parents that I said I'd suck a fart out of a chick's butt at that worked oh, at. Oh, yeah. What and my dad place? thought it was hilarious. Oh, what was the place in Fort Lauderdale that we liked? Renegades. Uh, or no, oh, no, 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 not Renegades. Renegade. Passion. Passion. Renegade. No, 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 no. Renegade. It wasn't Passion. Oh, it wasn't Passion? It was, uh, I don't know. It was in, Wait. like, on Las Olas. No, uh, this might. Oh, America's Backyard? It was close to America's This might backyard, be vegan. It wasn't bad. Double check that for me? No, it says cheese, bro. No, but I don't think it's, I mean, probably not real cheese. I don't trust it. I don't see cheese on there. Mm, don't trust it. Right? Where did you get these snacks? Hold on. Let me no, remember. they're vegan. Yeah, yeah, they're vegan. There's no cheese on there. I swear. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Oh I wouldn't. no. Yeah, no, they're not vegan. Whey powder it says right there. Stop Where? playing on me, folks. This one says okay, whey powder. Okay, bro. You act like I said I did that purposely. You did. Whey powder. <laughs> You're an intruder. Where he, doesn't, is, he doesn't know whey. Where did you get these snacks? Where introduce it, it, Luke. Hold on. Oh, this one might not have whey powder. Show it's me. okay. Double check that one. Luke, introduce Hold it on. to the I listeners. I don't think that one has whey powder. Don't oh, wait. Give me one sec. Right? It doesn't. This nigga it acting like we yo, 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 on a you know, podcast. Like, it says it? Luke, you're, stu- you're, you're not stupid. But where does it say it? Bro, it says in the first, in the second line, cheese flavor, salt, natural flavors, including milk. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I would have fucked Phil up. Oh, fuck. You're it's right. It's a little stupid. <laughs> Dang. Mm. Okay, so now that we know it's not vegan, can you Dang. introduce the they're snacks? Tr- they're from Trinidad and Tobago. Yeah, they're from Trinidad and Tobago, but... Uh, you can get them here in the states, and you can get them. Um, you can get them in Guyana. So uh, we have Bigfoot, and then we have Bigfoot Spicy. E. Both are queso flavored. Have you ever this had is a very feet focused podcast. KFC in uh, Trinidad, <clears throat> bro? KFC is so much better overseas. That's what everyone says. Bro, it is. That's every place, cause no, every, but when <laughs> I was a kid, I had KFC in Trinidad, and I thought that shit was disgusting. Bro, what? KFC? But I think it was because, it was, as a kid, it was way different than what I was used to, so I probably didn't like it, so I do want to try it again as an adult. Well, as, bro, you <laughs> know what the zingers are, right? Yeah. Zingers from KFC in Guyana? Bro, we were at a, I was at a club, and... I was at a club um, with Cindy and her sisters and some house. of their friends, and we had like a table with bottle service or whatever because their friends own the club. It tastes like cheese puffs. <laughs> and we're, we're literally at, um, at the table also is like this girl, her parents own cute? all of the KFC locations in Guyana. And KFCs are closed because it's like 1 a.m. Mm-hmm. And she's like, oh, I can just stop by and grab you all some, <laughs> some uh, zingers, which are like the chicken sandwiches. <coughs> and we were like, mm-hmm. bro, please. So she brought back like eight of them for us. They're really good over there, With fries. Yeah, they're fire. 
It, it's so much better over there. KFC is so much better over there. JB says fast food in South Korea is way better than here. Like I Burger King, it. McDonald's, and all that shit. 100%. Wait, yeah. so y- y'all tried both? It makes yeah. sense, though, because, like, think about it. There's, if there's smaller places, they have smaller restaurants to serve. There's, like, there's less trying to buy in bulk and not care about quality as much because it's cheaper that way. How did we feel about <coughs> are, the... They taste like yeah, they taste puffs. like Cheetos. You like the original or the spicy more? I think I had the spicy first. I like the spicy more. Tatiana would love those. Which she ones? loves it both. Yeah. She loves puffy Cheetos. Okay. So we'll save some for her? Yeah, we can. Great. All right. Great. <laughs> Streaming. No, they were good. They were decent. I mean, are we going to rate them? <laughs> oh, my bad. My bad. Rate uh, them? Have we, what have we in done ter- in the past? For chips? Like, what have we done in the past? I say they're, I think they're both like a six. But I, don't, I just don't. I also don't like puff Cheetos. Cheetos that much, but they weren't they weren't bad. They taste just like Cheetos. Tastes pretty good. Today, Luke brought in Bigfoot, and we are gonna rate him on a scale of one to ten. <laughs> Is that a country accent? The country that the, might be the, a the, worse country accent. No, it was, no, that's it's fucking. Uh, uh, yeah, you stupid uh-huh. ass boy. The, the crunchiness is phenomenal, and I'm gonna rate it a uh, seven point two out of ten. I, I mean, they're cool. They, but they they like Cheetos. Oh, that's Cheetos. actually a pretty good impression. Oh, <laughs> I also I also in New York I had the oxtail pizza. Oh yeah, talk oh, yeah, about that. Talk Cuts and slices, very lit. I went with Hibby. Hibby had been before, so he gave me the. He showed me. Adam's actually talk. pissed at you about that. About not, not really. He was like, they're around the corner. We told him we were going. Oh really? He said he couldn't make it because he was busy until four. Wait, did y'all go twice or once? We just went once. Maybe you hit him up after I told him you were there. I don't know. So is no, the- we talked that day and we said we were going, and oh. I said, and Adam said he couldn't because he had a meeting till four. I was like, hey, you trying to go at one at around lunch? He's like, I can't. I'm on the clock till four, or like he's working till oh, four. Oh, well, I got the impression that he didn't know. Hebe said, yeah, we were in a group text. It is the three. is the owner Jamaican? I think so. Gotcha. Yeah, they had like to make it. Were there any other? Well, put these on the other side. Were there any other? So there was two different. There's an, uh, there's sweet chili oxtail and there's a brown stew oxtail. Sweet chili is like uh, objectively better, um, but the brown stew oxtail is really really good. Like in order, like I had sweet chili, brown, uh, brown stew, both oxtail. Then I had a curry chicken. The curry chicken, I would rate it the, the third out of those three. I'll go sweet chili, brown stew, and then. The curry chicken. It wasn't bad. It's just that the oxtail were just was just like a, a step above. Gotcha. So definitely worth it. Worth it. De- if you're in New York, it's worth it to go to Brooklyn to go get. And it, they big slices, right? Yeah, they're pretty big slices, and it, you don't feel like heavy or or whatever. After I had all three, mm-hmm. and I was fine. I was still walking around. I didn't feel like I was like, you know, sometimes you feel like sluggish and stuff. But yeah. Like, wasn't like that at all. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> All right, moving on. So streaming. I know, I'm sure I'm the only one that watches this show. And pal, I found out yesterday that you also watch it. But Vanderpump Rules. Tatiana just put me on. It is another trash reality TV. And this oh is like gosh. the messiest of the messiest. I don't think you'll like it, AJ. Because this a lot of times does feel scripted. But it's about a restaurant owner and all her employees and it's just drama after drama. Like the employees all have boyfriends and girlfriends, but then they all cheating on one another with oh my all, everyone in the in the restaurant. So it, it's just wild. And I guess a new season popped up last night. So Pal clearly had watched it, but Tatiana and I will catch up. All I have to say, and I know I say this every time I start a new reality TV show, but Stasi is the worst human being I've ever seen <laughs> in my life. <laughs> she is a terrible human being. But moving on, you put working moms. Which oh yeah, because he asked us to watch it. Yes, uh, I checked it out. It's pretty good actually. It's kind of like um, I put it in the category of like a new girl. Okay. That kind of show, like it's definitely a sitcom. Um, it's pretty funny. And is every episode the same? What do you mean? Or not the same, but do you have to watch episodes in chronological order? Like, are all the episodes tied in? Yeah, I would say so. It's I mean it's kind of like New Girl in the sense okay. where like the the show will still be funny yeah. but it's less like new girl you can probably jump around yeah and still kind of get most of it but yeah, you still yeah. need to know like what happens before so you know the dynamic and the gotcha. relationships right mm-hmm. uh and new girl and new girl so it's kind of like that 
Yeah, I seen one clip, and it was about the mom that was trying to sell her breast milk or something like that, but she had too much, and they're like, why are you not selling it? Or she was trying to give it away. Oh, that was hilarious. Yeah. I saw that on Twitter. Um, it's, That's Wrecking Moms? I think I'm just not there yet. Yeah. yeah. yeah that's what the comments oh, really? had said. My bad. That's, she was yeah. like, I got that for the low and shit like yeah, that. I'm pretty yeah, sure yeah. I've seen that, though. So, yeah. like, I probably saw it on Twitter, too. They called yeah. that wherever. But, um, it's, yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty funny. It's definitely, like... The writing is good. It's funny in a in a different way than most shows are. They have every kind of mom in there. So Got you. All right. Music we could skip since this is going to be a lot more with sports. But Ja, we need to discuss our boy Ja, at least my boy Ja. <laughs> How y'all feel? Oh, bro, you need to stop liking <laughs> players. I know. I really do. It's the Zach curse. But how y'all feel about the situation? But what, Ja? Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh, we didn't talk about this last week? Nah. I think it uh, happened I'm after sure. we recorded. Oh, really? Oh, that nigga's stupid. Yeah, I think he'll probably <laughs> get like somewhere around 20, 20 to 25 games. It could be more. It's, just, it's kind of unprecedented right now. I so think, I don't know that they're going to try to like give him, like bring down that. They want to make an example out of him, but I don't think they can. Like setting the president with this one is hard because there wasn't a punishment that was talked about or. We're like, hey, if, you, if there's a repeat offense, this is what it would be. Um, mm-hmm. I find it, some people are saying, like, oh, it should be a season, it should be a full season. No. I think that's a lot. I mean, like, even, like, Steven Jackson got set for, what, 30 games when there was, like, Malice at the Palace? So I don't think they'll, they'll like, set, they'll set him up like that. I think 25 is around the number just because it's a repeat offense, just yeah. because it was so public the first time. Um, and it's really public this time too, so I don't know. And Adam Silver did not seem happy. Yeah, I and he said he was going to go to therapy and like you say all thirty games. Exercise? Yeah, I think he gets thirty games. I think I don't know. This it depends on on how much the CBA has, uh, or like the Players Association has a say in it, or has like because they. It, I don't know that you could set a precedent of thirty games for that, like especially if no crime was committed and and, you know. I think you could. I could see the I NBA going anywhere from five games to a whole season. No, I think I don't I'm think. Not, I, I could, yeah, I don't. I won't be. Like, I have no idea. Yeah, what? I have no idea. Yeah, because it's never been done before. What was but the previous I just feel like suspension? It's eight games. Eight, eight. Yeah. I think it's thirty games without pay. I think it's definitely gonna be without pay. Um, and it's not that he broke. It's not that he um broke a law. It's the fact that they was leaning with him the first time around. They so it was a slap on the wrist. He went to that. I, bull- need, I wouldn't he, say they were lenient. I, yeah, I, I think, think they were lenient. I think the punishment. I think yeah, I think it was, was fair. pretty fair. I thought they did. Were, they find it. He ru- he rushed through certain things. He said he was gonna do for sure. Like he was like, oh, I'm going to this thing. At, like he was there for like two days or something. Yeah, I don't the, know the bullshit, needs, the bullshit counseling or whatever he went to treatment. I'll say treatment <laughs> that he did. Um, yes, I think they're gonna throw the hammer at him, and you do the same thing, and it's self inflicted. But wasn't the last one worse? Because didn't he take it on a team plane? Or was that never found out? Yeah, that stuff was it was, it was never, never found confirmed. out. Yeah, but it, not only that, there's been like he's been in the in the news for a lot of things recently. Yeah, and no, one nothing's like come of it, but he's team, still yeah. like he's still not been in the best light, you know. Yeah, I think it's just a string of incident, 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 and they and most of them involve guns. Yeah, for whatever reason, issue. twenty-five sticks out of my head, probably because it's like a little more than a quarter of the season, probably like a third of the season. But um, and like we've seen similar punishments like that. Obviously, not for similar actions because there really hasn't been any for this but i don't know i feel like it's it'd be hard to s- what did gilbert do? i don't think i would uh, i don't think i would like uh i would expect or even opt for, or even like vote say if i had to vote on how many uh, like how long it would be i don't think i'd be i'd say over 25 i just think it it'd be tough to set the precedent then yeah i could see 25 to 30 I say thirty. I'll be shocked if it's more than thirty. I say I thirty say to a half. Yeah. A, I say thirty to a half a season, just because. Makes sense too. Half I feel like season. you have to do over thirty, just because. Um, like I feel like I feel like Adam Silver's just soft. I feel like this is gonna be his moment where he like tell ni- like tighten niggas the fuck up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's he's been a players a players uh G, whatever commissioner. commissioner. So, I think this is gonna be. I'm about to. Right, I'm about to tighten y'all the fuck up. Tight mm-hmm. deal. So I think he's gonna come down hard and just Josh is stupid, bro. Uh, Gilbert got a year. But the thing is, it's like it's not. It's not like 
like they can he could probably appeal or like if if the punishment is crazy they can probably appeal and like the players associations lawyers would have to meet with i mean or whatever you know so i don't know if they want to make it a big deal about it and if they try to give them a and give him a lot i think he'll try to appeal it and the players association might try to appeal it too just because like that means anyone else who has who does something similar by accident or something or someone leaks a video or whatever you know what i'm saying it's a little bit different but i mean that it's that was kind of like a leaked video he didn't he didn't post it himself it was his friends yeah so that's still like yeah whatever but i don't know i feel like i feel like it'd be hard for the players association and the player to just accept all right i'm got i'm out the whole season 50 games even even anything more than 30 even 30 it might be a discussion. Even 25 might, might be a discussion that they might try to appeal and give reasoning. Yeah. But it's kind of like, because it's not, it doesn't, it's not that it just affects Shaw and the Memphis Grizzlies. It's going to f- affect how everything else after that's similar is adjudicated. Yeah. Nah, I agree. Which is why I think you said it's stricter, harder punishment because it's a, all right, we gave you a warning right, and you did the exact same thing. That's true. I think that's, I think that's, <laughs> that's a fair point. I'm just saying, I feel like it'll, they, They'd likely appeal, and I don't know that the NBA wants to deal with this appeal for that long because the more it's public, the worse it is for the league. Yeah. I also think the more it's public, the more it's in the league's <laughs> favor because everybody's looking at Ja like, fam, you an idiot. So it's not like people don't have sympathy for Ja. It's like, oh, it's the That's first true. time. It's not, it's not worse for the league. Yeah, it's a, this is a repeat offender, and everybody knows the second time you get hit with the hammer. So everybody's already expecting a more – uh, stricter punishment. Yeah, yeah, but you, but the hammer. Fifteen games is still gonna feel like the hammer. You know what I'm saying? But fifteen games ain't enough. I, I know, think, but it's but it's. I don't think relative. fifteen games feel like. A, I don't think fifteen games feels like a hammer. Probably to the player who's missing. If he's oh, a to the if, player. yes, I'm, I'm if he's a fifty million, yeah. not anything. If he's a fifty million dollar player, but fifteen a, games is fifth. Like what? What is that? Of a quarter of the season, or maybe a little more, or a little less, twelve percent. So the twelve percent of that that's that could end up being like ten million dollars or something. Like yeah. that that's gonna be and and I think because of what I said, setting the president for everything else, the players will probably fight it and it if it's too excessive, it'll probably get reduced or end up being reduced. And I think that's a worse look than coming to coming to a punishment that is agreeable and you know if he messes up again people are probably gonna be like yo he shouldn't be in the league and the team's probably gonna be done with him and pe- other teams are not gonna want to pick him up but so it'll it'll get worked out if it's worse you see what i'm saying i i don't know if i agree with that because he's the one he's the face of a franchise and he's one of the faces of the nba right you can't so you have to set you have to set a precedent and make it as strict as you possibly can. I'm not thinking 30 games to half a season because this is the face of your league. If mm-hmm. your face of the league is acting like this, you're a national, one of your national, pretty yeah. much a spokesperson. You can't let them get away with that because the generation prior now, so we moving into the generation of jaws coming up mm-hmm. and everybody, if everybody's going to act like jaw, you got to dead that shit now yeah, because yeah, prior yeah. to him, you had Kobe, LeBron, Shaq, D Wade, them dudes didn't get minus the Kobe fiasco, and he got that cleaned up. But like after that, your stars wasn't in getting in trouble like that. Yeah, especially for self inflicted shit like this, yeah. like toting a gun trying to be gangster. I agree. Yeah. So I that mean, that's gonna kill your image. Like I'm saying, so you I don't think it's to. far. Like thirty games is far fetched. I yeah. just think that the league would want to avoid the player and the players' association appealing. I don't know. I don't think they would. Because I think that I think if, they, if I think even if they if prove, they will, if they prove yeah. it and like they, they have a CBA also coming up, but if they have a good case for why it shouldn't be that, and they prove it against other, how other things have been have been dealt out, other punishments have been dealt out, and the NBA has to go back and reduce the amount of games that they're suspending him, that's not good a good look for the league. At all, like it's just gonna make them look like they're gonna be like oh okay you uh you, whatever. I think you guys get what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. I, it's not a good look. I don't know if they, they would have appealed to, thirty games though. I think, I think the, I don't know. I just feel like they would be on board with it because of maybe everything that it encompasses. I feel like this is, is just even like if you guys, did you guys see JJ Reddick's response too or no? Yeah, yeah. Just even that like goes to show you that not everyone's kind of on the same page with this or, or not the same page, but it it has it has bigger a bigger impact than just the serve just just the one player. It's gonna. It'll affect how everything else is. 
But J.J. Reddick's um, response is more so that to make it clear he wasn't breaking the law. So people wasn't saying – people were saying, oh, you you got to suspend him because he's breaking the law. And now it's, it's like, no, he's not breaking the law. If he gets oh, I haven't seen anyone. There, yeah, but there's like so a, like, oh, he's breaking the law. Steven what? Jackson got, that got 30 games, right? He technically broke the law because he was fighting, you know? Yeah. Like, so – But now, I mean, the NBA can – the NBA has that free range to anything. Yes, that but they can also the, they can also appe- get appealed. That's what I'm saying. Like it also can be appealed, and I feel like if it gets appealed, and they have to reduce their sentence or whatever their whatever they they deal out as punishment, that looks worse for the league. I mean, you're but you're speaking in a but you're speaking from a case that they would win the appeal. What if they don't win the appeal? So they could they could appeal and don't win. And still put the hammer down. So I mean, the because the thing is, is like, yeah, is, I, is I, what ifs. I I'm say just, thirty I'm games. I'm just saying. I just know that if they lose, if there's an appeal and they lose it, and it becomes a bigger issue for a longer period of time, and you find out that, I don't know. It's just the longer something goes on, like the longer bad publicity goes on, especially for the league who's trying to like tighten it up. It's it's not, it's going to be worse. Well, your star's bringing the bad publicity. <laughs> so it's like, what do you do? Your star's bringing the bad publicity. Your star is in the off season. He, like, bro. And it, and it's wild, right? It's right, that, so it's they're going to affect that. his money. Like, there's, there's, his money is already going to be affected. It should be affected. And, no, I'm saying reg- outside of the suspension, I'm, his money's also going to be affected. He's going to get suspended, and he's going to not be able to get as much money as he can probably. As and that didn't deter got. his behavior, right? Okay, because he already lost fifty million from an endorsement deal, and it didn't deter his behavior. So yeah. his money being affected, that's not going to deter his behavior. So we got to take away basketball mm-hmm. because you lost fifty million, and you did the same thing two weeks later, and he lost more for not because he. Didn't make the All NBA team. That's what I'm talking. You lost the Super Yeah, I'm talking. Yeah. I'm, talk- yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just talking. Um, <laughs> like instantly, you lost the endorsement. Yeah. But even what endorsement? Um, he lost a fifty million dollar. Who put the endorsement? Oh, someone did. Um, I think yeah, that, somebody yeah. put the yeah. endorsement. But he lost his endorsement. Lost his opportunity to get a Super Max, and that didn't deter your behavior. Yeah, and so I just that saw doesn't today, deter your behavior. I, well, I just will. saw today. I don't know if it's all his shoes, but one of his shoes that was supposed to be released has been put on hold. I they, don't know. They took it off the website, right? Yeah. So it's like, okay, well, clearly it's not the money you care about, so let's see if we can take the basketball away. Because we see what the Grizzlies did to get you back on the court. Everybody know the Grizzlies rushed you back on the court, and that didn't do nothing. So I, that's why I think you're going to have to take basketball away from him for a while. Yeah. Really, why you take basketball away from him, you put him in mandatory treatment, and go from there. And you and that way the NBA can save his face to say, hey, all right, we that's, trying to help all that, get right. All that can be – can be added, but that doesn't necessarily equate to the fifty game suspension. He can be doing that over the off season. Nah, you gotta do that. In this, yeah, nah, you gotta. Take you can't off. force. You can't tell them they have to do it during the season. You can't tell them you have to. You have to go to go to this mandatory trainings and stuff, and you have to do it in season. That's what I'm saying. Like no, I'm all saying that you, I'm can be added you, to the punishment without it being games missed. No, you the have to misses. make him miss games, though. Okay, we like, can, why would you can, make him miss games? Do, so you would just suspend him for the off season? Like I'm confused. No, so, I didn't say suspend him for the off season. I'm are you not raising your voice. Don't I'm raise your because voice you're not listening. You're just responding. I'm trying to listen, but you're raising your voice at me. Don't raise your voice at me. I, be, I have to speak louder because you're not listening. Oh, right, go ahead. I'm listening now. I'm okay. Tapping. So you were, the the things you brought up that I'm talking about now were the going to therapy, doing other mandatory things that weren't game suspension, that weren't part of the game suspension. He can do that during the off season. So if you have if that's part of the punishment. And you make it broad and he has to do more things to one get back on the court and you don't make that that game suspension as as big, he's still getting a bigger punishment and having to do more and and go through jump through more hoops if you're trying to make him jump through hoops or whatever. Like actually try to get better without being a game suspension thing where you're setting a basically a measuring stick for everything else that's gonna be that's that's gonna be decided afterwards. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm <clears throat> All I'm saying is I th- I think you have to suspend him a lot of games and also you, whether you make him do it in season or out of season, I think you have to make him go through X amount of time of counseling. And you have to see a significant like, improved behavior, in my opinion. That's what I would – because, again, he's not just some dude coming off the bench. He's the face of a franchise. Yeah. And if you're going to – and it's and he already and he already has this gangster image that the NBA tried so hard to get away from. So we're not even taking the historical context into it. 
we saw what the NBA did to AI when AI came into the league and how they changed up the dress code policy and how they had to clean up the image. That's so that, different from missing than from games missed. I understand. And but even owners they, agreeing they, to that because owners, <laughs> owners are, are they're going to see that and be like, oh, that could happen. I, I don't know. I feel All like right, it's, it's just bigger than it's definitely bigger than the player. This one is. All right, we can. Additionally, move on. go ahead. Uh, the players' union can only appeal suspensions greater than twelve games missed, mm. um, and the players' union likely will only appeal stuff that they have a like vested interest in, like if they're in uh, if they bargained for something, or are in the process of bargaining for something, and the player breaks a rule similar to that, whatever they're bargaining for. It's a parade up in my city. Yeah. <laughs> it's definitely not a parade happening right now. Oh, but that nigga's stupid. I ain't gonna hold. I agree, but still fuck with Ja. Hopefully, the memes are the memes are hilarious. Yeah, it's, it, everything's been hilarious that's come out of this. <laughs> All right, we don't have to spend much time on it, but the NBA lottery happened, and the Spurs will have the first overall pick. We'll have the Wemby. Crazy. And get Wemby. Bro, in the beginning of the year, I said, I hope they go to he goes to the Spurs Hornets. Oh, did you? You did. Yeah. You did. Damn, that's lit. So does the automatic. Not in that the, order, though. Does the, I said Spurs first. first. I said Spurs, then I followed up with a message saying nah, Spurs I th- I or Hornets. I thought it was the same exact message. No. Nah, I, I looked it up yesterday. What were you saying, Phil? Shout out Hornets. Does that Shout automatically out make um, one and two. Wimbenyama a Hall of Famer? Because when it comes to big man, the Spurs undefeated with them top picks. That is true. We, I, but I doubt Pop is... Uh, Staying much longer? Well, going to be there. His, well, I know for a fact he's what not going to be there saying? his entire career. They got Becky Hammond. True. Yeah, I don't think... I don't she, think wait, Pop Becky Hammond went back? I know no, she, she doesn't. Be. She's yeah. in the LA. Aces, she is, she's got in trouble too. Who knows yeah. what will happen? Which I, I still she's been interviewing me. for other uh, jobs. She yeah. got yeah. She got in trouble because um, basically what happened was they traded a pregnant player. Yeah, they knew that she was going to be pregnant, um, and I'm pretty sure even told her that it was that's that it was sad. okay. Like, why would you like, get pregnant? Or that's sad, I thought that's what someone. I, I'm I'm secondary information. So go ahead, Luke. No, they told her that like it was okay. Like you you get the leave. Yeah. That you deserve, and then trade her. Fucking bum. <laughs> Did he think they was gonna call a travel or some shit? What was that? Nigga blew a tire. All right. Uh, so NBA playoffs. We are currently watching the Lakers and Denver Nuggets. Lakers up six points, eight points. Rui really Hooper. Um, series is one zero. Nuggets, and then the Heat are one zero over the Celtics. How do we feel about the playoffs? And Matt wanted to know, do we still feel the same way after game one? Heat Nation, uh, after baby. After both game ones? Yes, both game ones. I think I still feel the same way. But what do you have? what I said. Luke has I some terrible takes. When I listen to the podcast, Luke has some terrible takes. What, wait, oh. what, what do you have? Like, what? who do you have winning in how many games? Uh, I have Nuggies winning in, I'll say, six games. Maybe, yeah, six games. And then I have Heat Celtics probably going to seven. But I think I have Celtics winning. Yeah, that I have going seven. I, got, I don't think I have. I got Heat Nuggets. Did I give a prediction? <laughs> Wait, but why, why are they terrible takes? I'll explain them. Just because they differ from yours? No, no, no. Because oh. you, said, you said the Celtics and the 76ers were the best teams in the playoffs. I, I think the Bucks were better than oh, I think the Celtics. Saying, I was, yeah, I was saying like of this, that series. Yeah. Of, oh, of the, semis, of the remaining teams. Of the saying. conference semis, yeah. Okay. Still confused because we beat the best, the best team then. Yeah, but I mean, yes, but Giannis well, didn't play three games. The first game, he was. What do you mean? The, yo, the first game he was healthy. We beat them. Yeah, yeah. I'm not. He I'm missed, not. I'm he not missed the second didn't game, and that's the game they, they won. He, bit, he missed three games. No, he didn't. Yeah, he missed he one missed, game, bro. He missed two <gasps> full. He missed two full games. He didn't miss two full games. And Is I think he, he missed okay? one. And one, he played like ten minutes. He the missed, first, the first game, he he missed part of it. <clears throat> like he the played second game, he didn't play. He he didn't. It was tied one one. He missed game three. He played. He played game one. Two hero got hurt, and then he got hurt after. We we still won that game. He didn't play game two. They tied. They won without him. He played game three. Oh no, he didn't play game three. And then four and five, he did play, and we beat them both. And then four, and then four or five, he had like a what is it, thirty twenty or thirty fifteen? Yeah, he had, he had, yeah. So don't give me the excuse he was hurt. Like I don't. What, he had what? a Giannis type game. Yeah, he, he was back. And he was back, but he missed more. He missed two, he missed games. two game, two and a half games. Nah, I think I'm pretty sure he played he, no, most of that first he missed, game. He missed two and a half games. 
okay. thought it was one and a half. I don't, he, didn't, he, didn't a lot of games first, he didn't finish the first Yes, game. he did great. They still okay, we lost. also lost Hero. We no, also no, no. lost I know, I know. I know. I'm not just... Uh, okay, yes. You're a buster, But Gian, Giannis matters more to the Bucks than right, Hero matters Giannis to the Right, Giannis came heat. back. Yes, Those players that, did that. not come he back. Play, he came back and, and played that, like Giannis. That. And also, teams that are worse than other teams... Can still beat them in we the series. We about to jump this nigga, AJ. Let's go. You ready? Upsets happen. Like ju- you just said that the Bucks are a better team than both Celtics and 76ers. Mm-hmm. But the Celtics and 76ers are still in, and the Bucks were out in the first round. So yeah, because they got to be better, better team. So just, <laughs> so just, okay. So I don't understand what he's not getting. So you think the Heat are a better team than the Bucks? Then you think the Heat are the best team? They are the best team left in the. I think it might have went. I, I, I think, don't think honestly, that the best team makes it to the fi- to the finals from each side. All the time. No, I'm not, we're not saying that either. You're, yeah. you're just Cortez's. throwing out red herrings. You're, no, but you no, you said the Heat beat the Bucks, so they're the better team. Or you're saying that I the, didn't say that. Did I say that? Maybe you said I, that. I yeah. said that. You said that. Oh, the uh, they're the, okay. Maybe I did. I think they're the better team, but they. But I think the Bucks did have the better players. I think. I think if Giannis was healthy the entire time, maybe it might have gone seven. But he was still there for the majority of the games, and he still played like Giannis, and still lost. Comfortably. Those games where he played like Giannis. My picks stay the same. I got the Lakers in six, and I got the Heat in six, and I got the Lakers winning in six against the Heat with the uh, bubble rematch. And then the other take you had I thought was bad was that the Lakers weren't deep. Lakers are definitely deep. <laughs> Thank you. Stupid out a little bit. Okay. The, no, no. I think I did say the, I admitted no, that the Lakers said they weren't deep, deep as the Nuggets. But they're not as – yeah, not as deep as the Nuggets. You're Doesn't wrong. Doesn't mean that they're not deep. But both of them were giving because Phil was – Saying that eight <laughs> is deep. Eight is deep. No, is I, was, I was trying to He's say that these coaches they play, go eight No, the, Laker, the Lakers oh. are a deep team, but they're not nearly – well, not, I shouldn't say not nearly. They're not as deep as the Nuggets. What makes you think that, though? I think the Nuggets are deeper. They have better <laughs> players on the bench. Also, there's a difference between better team and better and better talent. Just to be clear. Yeah, because Boston has better talent. The Heat are a better team. Okay, and a, okay, and a better coach team. Which oh, they're is, definitely the better coach team. Yeah, so... The Heat are probably the best coach that, team. That goes right I into AJ's the, point. I they might be the best coach team in the playoffs. Team-wise, like playing, playing as one, playing together, it's Heat and Nuggets that are the best teams in, in the league. And I think probably Heat. Right, Heat are proving it more. Maybe, maybe is, I don't know... I'm not going to say for sure it's true, but the Heat are proving it more because of the pieces they've lost and how people have stepped up. I mean, I can agree that the Heat are play really well as a team. I've I've said that. Like, the way they play without any, like, obviously other than Jimmy Butler, without any super, superstars is impressive. Didn't they just have a – they set a record for six players that scored over 15? Yeah. Um, That's lit. But – you're a buster. I won't even, I'm not even going to say that. You're a buster. <laughs> say it. What, what were you going to say? I'm not going to say it. Okay. Some bullshit. I'm a bullshit Luke well, Lakers fan. Well, what were you going to say? Say it. I'm, no, I, I was... I'm, I was try, I'm being honest. I am a Heat fan, but I think, I'm being objective. I think, of, I think of, of all the teams that are left, the Heat have had the, the easiest of matchups. What? What? Yeah. Okay, Knicks, maybe. Yeah, the Knicks yeah, were, the, Knicks were Knicks easiest, the easiest matchup. Yeah, the Knicks are the easiest. But matchup. the Bucks were definitely not the easiest. No, matchup. but with but with Giannis out for two and a half games, that's still. You keep saying this two and a half. I didn't see how many how many time, how many minutes he played in the first because I feel like it was a decent amount. We can look at it. <clears throat> hey, LeBron it's, be scaring me going to the hole like that. Um, you think no? But even in those games where they had their we the game we lost. I mean, Jimmy was out, but actually no. Boston got Atlanta. Was right? Jimmy out game two of? Yeah, but then they had seventy sixers. With a healthy 76 Yeah, they had a 76 in a heart, and that never shows up. And in B, that never didn't perform well up. in the playoffs either. Yeah, I think you thought the Sixers <laughs> were better than they were. For real, bro. You, like, history tells you the Sixers weren't like that. Like, the... He don't like that. Look at his... He don't like that no, I'm face. Looking up, I'm looking up That's there. the name of the The pie. Heat lost two games, all, all like, in the entire playoffs, playing the best yeah, team the, in the entire yeah, league but the Knicks are in the first round. Okay, and the game the game they lost was the game that the Bucks didn't have their best player. Would you say? Uh, and then too, the 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 Celtics went to six games with the Hawks. I mean, the Hawks did beat us in the play-in, but they went to six games with the Hawks, and they they pooped the bed two games, and they pooped the kid several times against the uh, the Seventy Sixers, where they needed a game six. I mean, game seven to win at home. Would and you? 
then the game was going it was going in a half tide. Would you say that eleven minutes is a majority of a game? That's all he played. Eleven. He played eleven minutes. Oh, okay. Do oh, you? Yeah. He didn't play game two. All of game two. Okay. Or he didn't three. play all of game three. Right. Okay. So right now he's at eleven minutes, and we're already in game four. Right, Eleven we, minutes. We total. still smacked him in the two games, and we were beating him at the time. When and he, he went did. Out and he did play. And he did play games uh, four and five. But in a but in a five game series, right? Because that's what it ended up being. Yeah, he played forty. Missing three games. We also so in a five games. So out of five games, how many minutes is that total? What's I'll do the math right here. We also how many games did we lose Victor and Tyler for? Tyler was out first game. Yes, but Giannis. Victor was you out game two. You can't compare Tyler Hero or Oladipo. To Giannis. Tyler they got Giannis back, though. <laughs> no, yes, I agree. I agree that I agree that they got Giannis back, but still, to, have, <clears throat> to not have Giannis for three games... But to lose one of your top three players... And guess what? What, other, only, what other series right, look, doesn't look, look. have their superstar? Ty, look, look, look. The Are only, there any other series Listen, 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 listen. What game did the Bucks win? Okay, I understand that. Buster. Yes. Well, what's you the can, answer? Yes, you, you, can, yes answer. You, can win a, you can win a game without your best player. That's possible. Mm-hmm. The other team can play poorly, or you can just have an on game with your role players. They don't. The other players aren't role players, Luke. One was a defensive player of the year candidate and an all star last year. Drew Holiday is an all star. Lopez? Yeah. Brooke Lopez yeah, was Brooke an all star Lo- a, a year or two ago with that same exact team. Okay, Brooke Lopez. Who was, he, was getting, he was getting 20 and 20 or close to that. He was having great games. Had what are you all, talking about? Still had your all-NBA. C- Chris okay. Middleton? Yeah. Compare it Drew to, Holiday, okay, one wait. of the best defenders in the entire okay, league? Compare it to all of the other series. Has any team gotten this far without playing against – like had an injured superstar on the opponent? Yes. Uh, oh, wait, this far? Yeah. Um, like who have the Nuggets beat? The Nuggets, the superstars have been on – I mean, right? they, played, the teams they, the played, played? they played the Timberwolves. And then, and, then the and then they played the Suns without Chris mm-hmm. Paul. And a team that was deprived, depraved of talent because they traded everything for Kevin, Kevin Durant. But they still had their superstars. I'm just saying, I think that... Chris Paul would, I think would that be considered of the teams a superstar left, for that the team. Nuggets have, People, I mean, the Heat have had the easiest road. We had the, the, Knicks, maybe the, the, Knicks easiest sem, the easiest semifinals, but we didn't have the easiest first round. I don't know. I think you had the easiest first round. We still played. We still played Giannis at full strength. Yeah, even even when without, he went out that game, we were up. We were winning that game. He only played eleven minutes. Even without. Oh my gosh. Bro. Even even without at the Giannis, time we went. At the time he got hurt, we were handedly winning the game. We were up. That's facts. By how much? Uh, it, it was between. It was like I think it was around ten. <laughs> That's a, but even without Giannis, okay. y'all, I think y'all still favored to win With some every of those game games. Decided by like what? You know that, right? Even without Giannis, the Milwaukee Bucks are still favored to win at home. They were they were still favored to win every okay. single game. Exactly. That's, that's so fine. they still on paper they still have more talent. Ah, you hate don't, that, don't you? The Bucks were also the best team. Okay, they were also I don't one of the think, best teams. I don't think that out. you're that y'all are being uh, unbiased. How? how? They, it, I think it's, I think it's, we're arguing on the Bucks. That's the only thing we're arguing on. You said the, the, I said oh, yes. Have, the Knicks were very easy. Yeah, the it was Knicks, an easy team. The Knicks shouldn't have. I don't even think really should have. You don't think they part. should have beaten the Cavs? They they I beat thought, them five to one. Okay, I understand that, but I think the <laughs> I think the Cavs are a better team than the Knicks. But you're wrong, clearly. <laughs> and you no, but the thing <laughs> is, the takes are terrible. That's what I'm saying. Like, no, but you can you bad. can match you can match up better with it. You can match up with a team that has better players than you. That's true. Like you can match up. Well, with a team that's te- technically take, better than you. Yeah, and your takes are bad you. because you're just comparing players on pay, paper on paper with uh, players paper on paper instead of looking at the teams. Okay, so who has had an easier road to the to this level than the Heat? Uh, wait, well, what? The the La- the games? Lakers? The Lakers in the first round against the the Memphis Grizzlies, Grizzlies where they had Brandon Clark out. They had. Jaren ja- uh, Jackson, but um, and then who do they? Stephen Adams, Adams out. John Morant was out for just as much time as as uh, Giannis was and out. And then how? Do, and then who do they play? And then they who they play last round? I don't even fucking remember. Golden State. Oh, Golden State. Yeah, in six games. The that was a tough one. So just like I mean, the Bucks were tough, and then the Knicks were not Heat, tough, and the Knicks weren't tough. The the Memphis Grizzlies weren't tough, and then the Warriors were tough. You had two tough. games, two games with Giannis, out of five, and then an easy Knicks series. Versus Lakers played Golden State. Yeah, they had gr- an easy Grizzly series, but then they had Golden State, which was tough. And Grizzlies played them tough. So they had one easy series and, Nuggets, and one tough series. And y'all we didn't had have any tough se- series. 
The we, Bucks was we, not a tough series. Because we beat them handily doesn't mean they weren't tough. The, you did Okay, you, not only did you beat them handily, but they didn't even have their best player. And are, we you, beat, are you not so, counting, no, 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 Luke, not Luke. counting the Celtics? So Luke's, Luke's, acting, Luke's no, sitting here no, acting I'm like we did up to this point. Game three was one the Celtics with, had a, Jimmy, a tough with Jimmy series. scoring 56 points, having a an amazing amazing game. Giannis having 30 and 20 in that game, and it being decided by play, a point. Giannis didn't play game three. I said game four. I said when, when Jimmy had six. When I meant game four if I said game three. I said I meant game four when Jimmy had 56. Giannis played great that game, and we won a close game. That first game, we won a close game. Who has had a tougher? That second, that second game, what, we got beat. Who has had an the easier fourth, road? The, every single one of our wins were close games. Who has had an easier <laughs> road than the Heat up to this point? The Lakers, the Nuggets. Boston. Boston has an easier Hawks road. And there the are the Hawks and the Sixers that – that Doc Rivers can't Hawks and 76ers <laughs> versus an injured <laughs> Bucks Hawks are ass. and Knicks. They then they beat the Hawks 4-1. Then they yeah. beat the Hawks 4-1. Or did they to agree to disagree, I guess. They beat the Hawks 4-1 and did they sweep them? They I'm beat not, them. No, they lost. I'm not the, saying the they, Heat aren't a good team. I don't I'm not saying they don't don't deserve to be there. They, they deserve six. to be oh. The Heat deserve to be in the conference finals. But I don't think it's be I don't think it's the, the I think the Hawks were definitely easier than the Bucks. And the Sixers, there's no. Way I think I think I think the Knicks were harder than the Hawks, and the Bucks were similar or harder than the Sixers. If I the, mean, then it's, yeah, than the Sixers. If the Sixers still had uh, Ime Udoka as their coach, they would have beat Atlanta. You mean the, Bos- the Celtics? Boston, yeah, Boston. They they would have beat Atlanta in five, and they would have beat the Sixers in probably five. But they got a rookie coach that makes bad adjustments, and those games go longer than what they need to because those games shouldn't have been that close. Because they are way more talented than both of those teams. So and, and the thing is, like he's saying, the Heat haven't had a tough road, but we weren't favored in either of those series. No, we weren't favored in the majority of the games at all. I guess so that. if you just go by if you just go by what the experts are saying, yes, but that's just that's game also by based game. on your regular season. You were an eighth seed. Oh my gosh, bro! You keep moving the goalposts now. You, bro, you you had the easiest road okay. to this point. What? No, what's what's? I feel like objectively speaking, you've had the easiest road to this point. <laughs> the eighth seed had the easiest road, Phil. That's wild. You had they an had to injured play, they, one seed. They had a, That's a bro, hot Everyone's hot injured in the playoffs. Everyone gets injured. Everyone comes into the playoffs injured. Bro, every team in the East still had their superstar except for the Bucks. They got they three had superstars. Them, they had he them, literally they, played two games out of five. That's not even half the series. He didn't even play half the series. Well, we're just going to have to continue to move this on long for because we'll be <laughs> right, here all night. How could you say the Bucks are like a tough the series? The Discord, could you guys please let us know what you think as you uh, we entertained you on this conversation? I, I, what, I, what, I'm saying, what I'm saying is happening is that you're discrediting how well the Heat played and how tough a series it was just because they beat them in, they beat them in five games. No, I, I said that they... I said that they deserve to be in the conference finals. Like, they've played well enough to be in the conference finals. But this at is, the same time, they've played the weaker you of the You referenced the regular season, right? In games that Giannis sat out, the Bucks' record was the same, it was nearly the same as when, or maybe even better, as when Giannis was in the game. Oh, so you're saying that the Bucks should trade Giannis because they're That's better not what, without him. Like, no, he's saying they're dating. You're being just cheeky, bro. Yeah. That's not what say? I'm saying. Do you, you, you want to actually good? listen and understand, or do you want to just yeah, make say jokes? It. Say it. Okay, so if if you reference the the regular season, right? Mm-hmm. You reference the regular season. Yeah, I said y'all during the season. regular season, the Bucks played similarly with Giannis and with without Giannis. Mm-hmm. In the postseason, the game they won, they didn't have Giannis. Mm-hmm. In the games that they played with Giannis, they were close, hard fought games that the 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 Heat still came out on top. Okay, so I'm waiting for you to tell me the part where you're teaching me something. How about this? We're gonna put up a post in the Discord, and and if you like AJ's point, will you like you put up the AJ emoji, and if you like Luke's, you put up the Luke emoji, and we're gonna see who gets the most Thank emojis. If you're, yeah, if you're, what I'm trying to tell you is if you're saying if you're referencing the regular season and saying that matters, but and saying <laughs> they're not gonna get off. <laughs> I'm if trying. You're, if I'm you're trying. referencing the regular season and and using that as as a supporting case for whatever the hell you were saying, I can't remember right now. Oh, why wouldn't why that matter were, if they had if they favored. had a similar if they had a similar record? It was why you you they were still the favored. best team in the league, whether Giannis was on the floor or not. During the regular season, like I mean that, that their what you mentioned change. doesn't take into consideration who they played in those games without Giannis. 
That's true. They right? played the and better sam- team. The and sample size. It doesn't take into consideration how many games he missed during the season versus how many games he played. What like what, oh, were, the, what were the exact the numbers? Yeah, yeah, what were the exact numbers? The, it doesn't take into consideration either of those things. Okay. All I'm saying is that at full strength, we still beat them. No, I, and I think that y'all deserve to be in the conference finals again. I think that y'all play really well as a team. Like it's it's actually fun to watch. Also, like I'm not even a Heat fan, but it's fun to watch. And I I think that y'all deserve to be there. But at the same time, I think y'all had the easiest road. And I'm not trying to discredit them. I'm just saying I think that they would have made it this far if they played harder teams. But I just think that they play they played easier teams in the East. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. They also they also lost twenty points. <laughs> so like I it's kind of hard to say like. The teams who have lost big pieces of their team, which is, I didn't, I didn't uh, talk about this before, but the part, the teams who have lost big pieces of their teams haven't won. We still have won. That's what I'm saying. Like you're, you're saying it's easier because of who we were playing, but we also had to go through stuff with losing players for, for the, for we didn't get them back. I understand that. That doesn't have anything to do with, like, doesn't it affect how difficult you think the road is? I think that y'all played the easier teams. It has nothing to do with y'all. Oh, okay. You said you you said you I think, think we had the easiest road. Because That's what of, you said. Yes, because of the teams that you've played, the okay. Knicks. But and I the think I think Bucks. an easy road takes into consideration the things that happened to your team also. Like we we missed Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler was hampered. He had an ankle injury. Okay. We, well, then we, maybe I should just word it as y'all played the easiest teams. Okay. I mean, I still. I mean, the, <laughs> you still wrap it up. I still disagree because the, the Bucks were the best team <laughs> but, in the league. But okay. And with with Giannis, like if if Giannis had played the whole series, I would I would say I would have changed what I said. They yeah. would they then at that point then I would say they didn't play great team or they did play great teams, but the Knicks are ass. Well, you said easiest and teams. I don't think we played the easiest teams. The, I think the Knicks, especially. I think so. In the first round, I think the Minnesota Timberwolves were an easy matchup. Or if we're, we're going by round by round, the Minnesota Timberwolves were an easier matchup. The Clippers were an easier matchup the, than the Bucks. The um, who did the Lakers play? The Memphis Grizzlies were an easier matchup. The Hawks were an easier matchup. Who did the Sixers play in the first round? The Nets were an easier matchup. That's seven the teams. Net, the Nets are that's the- seven teams that were easier matchups than our first round matchup. I think I would disagree with some of those, but the the Nets I can agree with, aren't that are, were that was you the easiest the Memphis, first round. Okay, matchup. Nets. You think we're we're harder? You think the Hawks were harder than the Bucks? I think Hawks at full strength with Giannis out is really close. I don't know if it's I don't know if it's harder, but I think it's close. They okay. they they had it's no not harder. In, they didn't have any injuries. That, okay, that, so Nets and Hawks, I, it doesn't like the, the Hawks have been booty all year. It doesn't matter. Um, do you think the Memphis Grizzlies were easier than the or 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 harder than the Bucks? I would say that one's pretty close too. I I think I I don't think it's close. They were missing Jaw for just as many games that that Giannis missed, and they but had, that's why I think it's they close. had two two other two other major players missing. It wasn't they just missed one Giannis. They were they were missing Jaw Morant. They were missing their starting center and a, a borderline starter starting power forward and Ooh. relief player and Brandon Clark. Oh, I don't know. Uh. I don't know. Brandon Clark really doesn't contribute like that. Yes, he does. He's a big part of their team and why why they're successful. I don't know. Maybe last season. I don't think that I this think season. Okay, he he got he got paid and he's still been productive and they, it wasn't like oh he's they they talked about him being hurt for a reason. They didn't just they ignore it. Okay, the the Clippers, they were missing Paul George and Kawhi. Do you think that you think that was a harder matchup than than the Bucks, without Giannis for two and a half games? And we'll be Before here all night. On. Brandon Clark. You're gonna look at, at his stats, right, and not yeah. what he actually produ- what he actually does on the floor. Cool. What do you think he does? He he's like he's like a Draymond Green for them. Like not not exactly because he doesn't he doesn't facilitate the offense the way Draymond Green does, but he's or he's like a Josh Hart for for the Knicks. Very important player. They don't win without Josh. They don't even they don't win two games. The Knicks don't beat. We sweep the Knicks if they don't have Josh Hart. I mean, I think Josh Hart is a. Yeah, so y'all just gonna keep going. Y'all just right. gonna keep going. As moderator, <laughs> y'all just gonna keep going because y'all have agreed to disagree three no, different times. Facts. We're talking. <laughs> we're talking. I, I broke it down for him. He couldn't. 
Well, y'all that means no. at this point, the listeners probably tapped out. Y'all have they don't both want to agreed to disagree yeah. several times. So yeah, we, we I am the ending. Yeah, we can, you can so, skip most of this. <laughs> this has cut been most of this. episode number 108. Huh? Oh. No, we had football, but I'm saving that for the next pod. Oh, sorry. So uh, Phil hit the drop. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> Wait, Jesus Christ, Negroes. <laughs> I'm trying to stop that shit five times. Yeah, like, can, uh, oh, 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 oh. But really, the like, hey, I think an injured Bucks team is, is close to a lot of those teams. That's a mismatch, bro. The Mets are the only team that I can.